Welcome to the Oz and Tales D and D session number six. <clears throat> Last time, our fateful heroes traveled from the town of Asari to the west, up the coast of the Celestine Bay, and at the base of the Great Waterfalls, they found. A dead body, torn asunder by jagged, large, jagged blades, even. Um, trying to piece together clues, they followed a dried, sort of spotty blood trail up the tunnel stairs that lead them through a little cutout in the mountain up to the top of the waterfalls. <clears throat> they traveled for about a day or so. When uh, following the uh, <clears throat> following the the blood trail that went from few spots here and there to more and more and more until just outside a large lumber mill, they found what they came to assume was the attack site. Large pools of dried blood, lots of scuffed up earth. <clears throat> many graves dug to the south of the road and an abandoned stables to the north <clears throat> with rotting food and open doors as if the horses had escaped <clears throat> and uh, just as we left left last session it's hard to say left last session <laughs> uh our group looked into the some of the gaps in the wooden uh, fence and the big wooden walls, rather not the fence, but large wooden walls of the uh, sawmill, and uh, they saw far off on the other side of the sawmill some slave tents with people chained up, and uh, they saw much closer to the entrance gate that they were just outside of, a large mechanical menace whirring and kind of vibrating up and down a little bit <clears throat> as if uh, it were in idle mode or perhaps refueling or recharging itself. <clears throat> so we bring you now back into the world of the Osrin Tales. Let's go around, we'll introduce everybody my name's Jeff. I'm your humble dungeon master. We have uh, up here Reshi. You get played by uh, the Righteous Rachel. <clears throat> we have Sift of the Silver Eyes, played by Sam Gretty. <clears throat> we have Rowan the Bard, played by your Genie Bro. Bard. We have Dalmu. The Cleric, played by Mr. Abstracto. What up? And we have Fane, the Investigator Rogue, played by Flave Creations. <clears throat> Take us now to the actual Lumber Mill. So you guys can see what is going on. I believe we were like standing over a grave last time. We were... <laughs> yes, <Yep>. we were. <clears throat> I rolled up to a gate. That's about all I did. Yeah, you rolled up to a gate and you saw kind of about in Some... here. Something the... nasty is on the other side of this gate. Yeah, that there's a, a large uh, mechanical... Uh, thing <laughs> um i'd say uh you can you get a pretty good uh like idea of what it uh how big it is it's roughly 10 12 feet tall um probably you know a good five to six feet wide um and it uh has rather large arms on it but kind of short stumpy legs to it um i don't know did 
we show off uh, the uh, off stream we did see it yeah yeah so let's show the show that again here <clears throat> so this is the the thing that you see on the other side it's hooked up to a bunch of uh uh, what's the word? Steampunk kind of copper uh, and magical uh, machinery. Uh, you can see some soft sort of lime green glowing lights uh, on the other side of it. Um, and it's hooked up into this big, um, almost kind of looks like a, uh, you've ever seen like a copper still? Like uh, the, the giant barrels with like the pipes coming out of it. It's got, it looks like one of those, but on its side with like a really large pipe connecting into this, uh, the back of this thing. Um, okay. All right. So the only thing different about this image that you don't see in the actual game world is there's no like key, like wind them up key at the top of it. Other than that, this is what the thing looks like. Um, it even looks like there's a spot for someone to sit in it, but there is nobody in it right now. <clears throat> um, is there? Uh, I will turn. I guess I'll turn it over uh, to you guys before uh, we uh, we go any further. Is there? Uh, I know uh, we uh, we investigated. Uh, there was a grave, uh, an empty grave, um, not freshly dug. Uh, it was probably dug a couple days back. Um, there is a, a pile of dirt nearby. Um, so it doesn't look like something crawled its way out of the grave or anything like that. Uh, it just looks like someone dug a grave in preparation for burying a body. Um, and as you can see, there is about eight uh, other buried, like, packed in grave sites. Uh, there are no ornaments on the graves. There are no gravestones. They're just recently, you know, churned earth, roughly the size of a grave. And with the open grave there, you uh, you came to the conclusion that those were also graves. Um, I believe Rowan picked up some rotted grain from the carts uh, last week. Uh, and like I said in the in the recap. Uh, that stables looks like uh, it has been left for a couple of weeks. Uh, the God, horse feed that is that. still there is rotted, uh, and all the horses uh, have left. The doors were wide open and um, stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, that big red squiggly is the the big blood splotch from where you think that guy uh, was originally attacked before he made his way. Uh, down to the waterfall and uh, uh, yeah is there any anything else you guys want to do San uh, Sil Sift Sift has uh, just seen the uh, the mechanical thing on the other side of the wooden wall there uh, but I don't think you've had a chance to talk to any of your companions yet uh, I would like to to wave over to have them come up to me uh, and as I do this I'm going to cast false life on myself uh, see. read this correctly plus four to be five and the first person to get over here I am also going to cast it on them, which I believe was Rowan. Who's closest there? Am I the closest? No, that's, um... I think Damu was first, right? He's already yeah, all, yes. Damu's just, closest. I'm just handing out the false lives, because that's all I can do right now. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm super worried, so... Um, so, Damu, I'm going to hit you with false life here. Uh, it's, it, it, Ten. 10 points. Danka. Um, and then uh, I 
just explain what I can see on the other side of the fence to the folks here and ask what we want to do. Okay. Well, now, uh, yeah, everybody, if you want, um, you describe what's going on. I assume that you guys maybe kind of quietly walk up to the wall and like look through uh, yourself. So while, uh, why don't I actually reveal on the map what you guys see? But there's nothing driving this thing. It's just alive on its own. But we can see that there's this, like a seat or a way to control it inside of it. Yeah, it looks like this thing um, is supposed to be uh, manned by an operator. Is there a chance I can operate it? Uh, there's always a chance that you could uh, do something. Well, we got to get in there first. <laughs> yeah, you got to get in there first. Uh, the uh, the wooden walls uh, from basically these blocks right here are the is the gate like these thicker this thicker part of the wall is a gate um, there doesn't seem to be any latches or anything on this side and there are um, uh, if you can kind of imagine some like um, come over here uh, really long, uh, almost as tall as the whole thing. Uh, really sturdy looking uh, beams uh, that you could grab onto. They're kind of like lashed in um, on this sort of like a, a square frame. How tall uh, is the fence? With an X uh, in the middle. So it's like a square with an X lashed to the front of these doors. It looks like you could pull uh, open. Um, how tall is the fence? Uh, 15 or so feet. Uh, the, the wood, uh, logs that make the fence up are spiked at the top. So they're like, uh, pencils sticking up out of the ground. Um, and then the, uh, the tower over here is 20 feet or so. Uh, there's another tower, um, up here. Let me go back to show the audience. Uh, so the towers are 20 feet. Uh, there's one just to the to your right of the gate, just to the north of the gate. Uh, and then there's another one that you can see at the northern corner uh, of this complex as well. <clears throat> also, uh, the river is moving uh, in this direction. So it's moving uh, in the direction you came from. Uh, it's pretty fast um, moving. I mean, it's fast enough to turn, a, you know, a lumber mill's mill wheel, right? Um, <clears throat> but uh, it might be possible if you guys wanted to go around the fence. Uh, it might be possible to do that. Can I peek? Uh, you can peek, yeah. Uh, as you go over there, you notice that the ground... Uh, along the edge of this uh, river is both steep and slippery. Um, so you have to be really careful if you want to go across like these squares right here to get into the complex. Uh, but as you peek from where you are, you can basically see uh, the side, like if you're trying to get a better view of the, the machinery. Um, you can't really see that because the... Uh, because of the, um, <clears throat> whatchamacallit, uh, the tower, sorry, <laughs> my brain <clears throat> is not working. Um, and then from where you can kind of see past that, uh, let me just see here. Yeah, from where you can see past that, you can actually see the, um, the giant wheel. You can see a wall further down. Um, and you can uh, see uh, the back part of the, the building um, that is the mill. Um, and you can uh, kind of make out um, what looks to be another wooden kind of platform um, with uh, some crates and some uh, 
like sacks of supplies and stuff over here. <clears throat> Have we seen anybody besides the slave tents? Uh, no, but I'll re I can reveal that stuff uh, here. Give me a moment. Uh, let's see here. You can see. Uh, yeah, we'll reveal kind of like this. How about that? Uh, so there's another building, right? Like this. You can kind of see through the thing. Um, and then the slave tents are over here. I think you can see probably about that much. <clears throat> There's like no apparent way to like scale the wall at this point, like no safe way. Um, mm, I mean, you could try if you guys have, um, if you guys have like, uh, like a grappling hook and rope, you could probably throw a grappling hook up there and uh, latch it onto the top of the wall. Uh, with like the in between the you know the spike part of the wooden wall and then climb up that way uh, getting over the wall will be um, maybe a little dangerous depending on uh, you know how spiky those spikes actually are um, they're pretty big though uh, if you're careful it would probably be an athletics uh, check to get over the wall safely what about right here um at the north side yeah um off the map to the north um about a football field so like a hundred yards away uh is the uh the start of some forest uh you can see a good 50 yards have been clear cut recently um so like from where you are you go 50 field 50 yards of field and then a large area of just tree stumps uh, for another 50 yards. And then um, you have like jungle forest. So no revealing the black squares right there on uh, top. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no I was go. just, Sweet. I was just getting there. I'm getting there. Okay. Um, right. You see, so do uh, I see anything that would spot me at all? Uh, no, there's no sentries or guards or anything like that. All right, in that uh, case, I want to move to here and peek inside what looks like possibly another door. Yes, that does look like another gate. Uh, give me a perception check. Don't forget, you are both lucky and have the yes, uh, lucky feet. Yes, halfling, halfling luck and the lucky feet. <clears throat> Which I would totally, I would bite down on one of those luck points for sure. <clears throat> Yeah, you rolled a four. A four? <laughs> well, yeah, you rolled a yeah. four plus two. You, so you <laughs> got a six perception there. Oh, okay. okay. <clears throat> um, yeah, let's use one of those. <laughs> so you... Uh, with, a, with I mean, just that. Like, you can literally see what you can see, right? So you can see that much. Uh... That. let's clear away that there you can see like that <clears throat> that would be about hmm. it um, there good. are um, they don't see you uh, but there is um, one or two slave people uh, in this tent uh, in these tents um, each of these tents has a uh, like a fence post kind of sticking up in the front of it, you know, like a three foot high uh, wooden post that's got a giant metal ring, kind of like an eye ring, kind of screwed into the side of it, and off that eye ring is like a length of chain. Um, of the one guy or two guys that you can see outside their tent. Uh, they're clearly in leg shackles connected to these uh, poles. Uh, the ones uh, that you don't see people outside of, you can see the length of chain goes into the tent. <clears throat> All right, I want to peek around this corner before I go. 
Uh, we peek around that corner. Um, and, and I die. Yeah, yeah you, you immediately, you immediately die. Um, there really isn't much to. Uh, this is the edge of the map, so. Right. Um, there's. Uh, it doesn't look like the there's way. any gates or anything on that wall. Uh, it looks like the main road comes in to a big main gate, um, and there's some like road that goes through this complex, and then the northern gate is like the work gate that you go. They would go in and out of to go to the, uh, um, <clears throat> to the actual forest to cut down trees and shit. All right. What about around this corner? Oh my god. He's <laughs> <laughs> just gonna go around the whole damn thing. I, I'm, I'm done with this, guys. <laughs> I have a costume. I'm putting the costume on. I'm knocking on the door. Hide up against the wall. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll, I was gonna say we could just try the front door. We don't know if it's in. locked. Yes, let's yeah. just, we just go. Let's try. Uh, from there, because this building is in the way, uh, you can't really reveal anything about what's over here, unfortunately. And I'm not revealing what's in here because obviously it's walls of a building. Yeah, it's in a building, so yeah. you wouldn't know anyway. Um, Miss Reshi, could you uh, try the gate for us? I'm I'm not particularly the strongest. Sure, the gate's up at the top, right? Uh, it's right right by uh, Genie here. Yeah. I mean, unless you wanted to go to the northern gate. No, I got you, boo. I can do this. Um, What do I need to roll on this? Uh, The uh, the gates look pretty, pretty solid and uh, heavy, so uh, roll uh, just, a, just a strength check for me. It wasn't very good. Well, that was a strength save. Just click okay, on the... Uh, so where the actual, like, big bubbles with, like, your numbers and stuff in it, just click strength on the on gotcha. the far left of your character sheet. Same. Still a nine. <laughs> <laughs> Mike um, just said no. You, uh... Hey, Damu uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, you could roll again. Uh, he's assisting you. Basically, he's giving you advantage on this roll. Uh, so you okay, can roll so one more same. time, and if it's higher... It... <laughs> it's crap. Wow. It's just crap. Wow. You're not does. allowed. Okay. In... The game's right. against We're... me. Uh, as here. you... Um... <laughs> Every... No, everybody's only strength. Um... <clears throat> as you pull on this gate, um, you can tell as it's kind of opening... Um, you can, you're physically strong enough, uh, to open this. It is locked on the other side. Um, however, as you, um, pull on it and it rattles, you hear some, like, and the whirring of gears as this mechanical thing comes whirring to life. <clears throat> I'm gonna need everybody to roll for initiative. Okay. Just, thank you, Sam. Thank you. I'm sorry, everybody. We're all gonna die now. <laughs> I got a 21. Oh no, where's the initiative at? They're going first, right? Crap. I got a 20. Not a nat 20. Or can't I find initiative? There it is. There it is. Um, so you want to click on your character so I that you can it. see I the three bubbles it. on. I got it. You're gonna roll. I'd like to uh, try the north gate there. Uh, Genie, remember you need to click on your character on the actual uh, Roll20 uh, map. I'd like to do a stealth. Uh, you can that Does make that 20 not count? No, you it, it, it will count. Okay. I just I just need you to click on your character so that you get added to the turn order. Okay. I'd love to unroll my initiative, please. Uh, that's <laughs> a negative. Uh, you rolled a 21. <laughs> that's I know, that means I'm going so, so to I... die first. <laughs> no, that means you get to I go no, first. I mean, to go forward. Go forward. <laughs> you can yeah. run away first. <laughs> well, guys, this was fun. Have a good night. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to stay at this corner over here behind this right here. And use that stealth check right there that I rolled. Why is it not letting me add that in? 
Damn, it's got good initiative. It's going pretty quick. Well, at least all Did of us are going Did you highlight your it. token on the map, Genie? I, I clicked on it. So you can see the three bubbles above your character on the yeah, map? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, and then, okay, and once then, you're highlighted, then you go back to your character sheet. And click, and click initiative. Oh. Uh... I just keep my character sheet up. <laughs> hey, and you same. rolled and you rolled better. What was it? Twenty one. Yeah. Yeah, I can count guys. I'm good. Uh what is your dexterity modifier, Reshi? Or your dexterity score rather. The larger number of dexterity. Uh two over fifteen. You guys are uh, even, sorry, Genie, I'm gonna take your original 20 just to make this easier. <laughs> hey, uh... <laughs> I have no problem with him going first. I got 20 as well, and mine is 12, so we're all basically going in the same second. <laughs> <laughs> so let me add a turn. Add turn. Then you said you got a you got a twenty, right? Yes. So he got a twenty. I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is since it doesn't look like anybody got an eighteen, um, I'm gonna put a sift at a nineteen, and I'm gonna put the mechanical thing at an eighteen. Uh, Domu faint Reshi. Logging unit. G. Uh, Let I, me grab. I got some sweet, sweet bardic inspiration from the tactical weasel. Ooh. Very nice. Yeah, give San some of that tasty bardic inspiration. Am I giving some bardic inspiration out? <laughs> uh, we, uh, I have channel point rewards set up so that. The audience can also give Bardic Inspiration on top of what you can do. Did someone just do that? Yeah, Tactical Weasel just came in and bought uh, some uh, tactical, uh, some tactical inspiration, as it were, uh, for uh, <laughs> for Sangretti. Uh, I remember that until next time I'm watching your stream. Ooh, Who's your favorite? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and real quick, let me. Um, I, I gotta in. add my. I gotta add my effect. I'm gonna add in. Uh, Given my some boys here. That's not the right one. <laughs> Just so we're clear, am I self to put that though? Uh, better than you used to maybe? be. <laughs> you rolled pretty well on your stealth. I think I want to change corners though. I want to go like right here. Rowan, I feel so inspired. You're welcome. You're better than you used to be. Guys. That's a proper square. It's Rowan's job. He's here to make you a better you than you were a couple minutes before. Yeah, all right, so grab those guys and. All right, so these commoners are the slave boys. Let's do that. Uh, oops. That and that. All right. That, that and let's get some battle music playing here. No, I thought there was only a couple of slave people. No, there's like one in every tent. <laughs> uh, there was only a couple visible. I was saying that the chains. <laughs> go in they were going into the tents as if people were in the tents <laughs> damn it i feel really dumb for asking you to work the front gate <laughs> <laughs> no i'm i'm gonna remember that too san yes all right, let's, i'll uh, forgive you never there's a good place i can't believe y'all didn't wait for me to come back you were taking forever <laughs> walking around the whole damn Building. We, That's we had... part of being an investigator. Yeah, we investigate right. these nuts. I was ready to go. 
I mean, you, you, you gave, gave us all the information in. we needed there, buddy. You're like, all yeah. right, there's no other ways in that are going to be safe. Let's go here. <laughs> all right. Back. <laughs> Plus, so, now you're stealthy as hell, so. Technically, neither one of you all should know about all those people in the back. <laughs> So uh, as you um, as this thing whirs to life, um, and you guys go on high alert, uh, the uh, you hear kind of like a bramp, bramp, intruders detected, intruders detected. Uh, this thing is starting to stand upright now. You can see it is fully like twelve feet tall. It is a fully, big hulking machine. Uh, you can see erected. through the cracks in the fully erected wooden. Yeah, it is fully would erected. You say, would you say it's fully erected? It is. It is hard and st that is dick joke number one, people. We're keeping a tracker tonight. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's a bit. Um, <laughs> Reshi, it is your turn. Uh, you can hear and kind of see this thing through some of the gaps in the in the gate there. Um, it is. Uh, there's some red lights kind of spinning around up on the top of it. <clears throat> It looks rather uh, annoyed. <clears throat> if a machine can look annoyed. <laughs> okay, so my I want to just step back away from the gate because I feel like he's about to bust it open. Sure. What I want to do. Okay. All right. So um, I can, can just do that, or do I need to roll something? Nope. Uh, movement is just something you can do when it's not difficult terrain or anything like that. Uh, Glacier nuts. Thanks for the biddies. D and D indeed. <clears throat> okay. Hey Glacier. You're you're backing up a little bit there. <clears throat> um I believe uh I mean if that's where you want to be, that's where you want to be. Just letting you know, I think you have as a character up to 30 feet of movement as a dragonborn, and you can always take your action to move twice your move speed if you are interested. And moving even further away. But if you are happy there, uh, you're happy there. You can also prepare an action, uh, since all you've done is move so far. So you could always prepare to attack something, uh, if like, you know, prepare to punch something if it comes close to you or, uh, something like that. How much further lines. could I go back? Because I kind of want to go like a little bit closer to where San is, just in case uh, it busts out and then I can make it. San's move. right there. He's, he's right there. Like, is that good right there? Can I... Oh, yeah, that's only that? 15 feet. I mean, you could move... Like I said, you can move 30 feet. Okay, I'm, I'm good right here. I think <laughs> then I'm close enough to do, like, the cone or whatever I need to do if I have okay. to. So you want to hold your action to do your dragon's breath if yep. uh, something I'll comes hold. in range? Yeah. All right, cool. Uh, that is going to take us up uh, to Rowan. You see uh, your monk uh, fall back into a defensive position. Uh, I'm going to double down on being up against the gate and I'm just going <laughs> to cower, uh, in, okay. like okay. over here to the side, off the, off the main, the main part of the gate. Okay. And I'm just going to be very, very steel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so there is a, a, a maneuver you can do in, uh, <laughs> yeah, we do have sound alerts here. Um, I should maybe turn those off for game time next, shouldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> um, but, uh, <clears throat> there is a maneuver you can do is, uh, called the dot. I think it's called dodge in fifth edition. Uh, basically, um, you, uh, I believe you impose disadvantage on incoming attack rolls if you choose to dodge. Otherwise, if there's something else you want to do, like um, cast a spell if someone comes in range or attack them with like a sword or whatever, you can hold an action to do that. Um, and also remember, Bardic Inspiration is a bonus action that you can do on top of that kind of thing. No to... one, no one's, no one's paying me any attention at this point, right? I'm kind of off to the side in the corner. <laughs> yeah, you're off to the side in the corner. Um, let's, uh, I'm going to, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be as still as humanly possible up against this, this gate here. Okay. Um, I would think that's probably the dodge action then. Um, so that would be your action. And if you wish to give someone bardic inspiration, uh, you don't have to, uh, but that is, that is a bonus action. You can do that as I'm well. Gonna, if I'm, you I'm want. gonna hold on to it this second. All right, cool. 
cool, cool, cool. Uh, that'll bring us up to Sift. Uh, again, you hear the machine, you know, intruders detected. <clears throat> you hear the clanging of metal. So Sift is afraid of nothing here. Sure, sure. And and Sift is going to do the most badass thing she can do. Okay. Uh, she's okay. going to do her best Palpatine, and she is going to second level Witch Bolt. Oh dear God. Oh, just flex then, Sam. Um, Jeez. Do you, I don't think you have enough line of sight on this guy. Okay. To do if that. I don't have enough line of sight, then I will change my plan here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, if you wanted to get up right next to the gate and stick your hand, like, finger through the thing and put your eye up next to the crack, you could probably probably do that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if, if I can't see it uh, well enough, then instead I am going to move to an angle that I think I'll be able to see it shortly, and I will cast False Life on Reshi while I'm Very standing sir. here. Thank you, thank you. That's a, oops, sorry. Uh, she's getting seven. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Um, Get used to it now, guys, because it's not going to be useful for law. <laughs> Real quick. Let me grab this door. Um, I don't have the, the doors in a configuration that they can actually fling open from the middle. Uh, so just use your imagination as I... Uh, delete the door. <laughs> uh, they, uh, they come swinging open. Um, I'm gonna want, uh, Damu and, uh, Rowan make a dexterity saving throw for me as these doors come violently flying open and, uh, they're about to smack into you guys. <laughs> uh, uh, started, this guy is now here <laughs> as he kicks open these doors. Like, it actually kicks open. Uh, immediately, as we're waiting for these dexterity saves, um, Fane, from where you are, Reshi, and Sift, uh, you guys clearly see this thing is operating without an operator. There is nobody in the seat. There is nobody at the oh, controls. <clears throat> Uh, let's look here at, uh, the dexterity, 18 and a 14. Both of you succeed. Uh, so you guys are going to, uh, as you kind of jump and move out of the way, uh, the, the door only manages to clip you. Uh, you can stay where you are, Rowan. I'm just saying narratively as you, uh, move out of the way. Like, I was getting into it, dude. I'm yeah. Like <laughs> <laughs> um... Uh, you guys are going to take half of this 2d6. Uh, so you only take five, uh, half rounded down. You take five bludgeoning damage as this thing, like, it's kind of, kind of smacks into you. <clears throat> um, uh, quick question. Rachel. So looks like we're getting another Bardic Inspiration redeemed. I stayed up till 2am for this, Rachel's Rachel, says Tactical Weasel. Thank you so much, Weasel. Uh, so you can go ahead, uh, you can flip your, you know, put that little tag I, up who, there for Bardic who, Inspiration. Who, who am I giving that to? Uh, you're not giving it to anybody. The The audience is giving it to Weasel. people. Oh, nice. Weasel got okay. me. Yeah. Okay, I got cool. you, boo. So I've still so, got mine. Yeah, you still have, like, your, what, three or four that you can do? Jesus. Okay. Well, yeah, you can do it. I know do I a did handful. many, I probably would have held on to them at this point. Yeah, you can do a handful of them. Um, that thing's gonna, so it kicks open the door, uh, object interaction, it, uh, it sees, let's see, straight line, uh, unfortunately, Fane is not within that straight line, um, it's giant buzzsaw hand flips over parallel to the ground, it's like all horizontal, and it's gonna fire its, uh, its buzzsaw arm out at you guys. Um, uh, so, yeah. At, uh, Sift and Reshi, or yeah, at... Yeah, Sift and Reshi. Damn um, it. Misses me? Sweet. Uh, yeah, it's gonna miss you, so you don't have to do anything. Um, <laughs> Picked a good spot. Yeah. It ends up, it launches 30 feet and just chunks into the ground. Uh, but we're gonna need a, uh, dexterity save, 
uh, from <clears throat> Reshi and Sift. Uh, DC 14, uh, if you uh, <clears throat> don't I have exactly 14, sir. <laughs> exactly 14, you're going to take 10 damage. <laughs> it is his big buzzsaw move. <clears throat> so I took 10 damage? Uh, no, uh, Sif took 10 damage. I need a dexterity saving throw from you to see if you get hit with the brunt of this or if you're managing to... 20 definitely beats you also take 10 damage you both kind of jump away from each other a little bit this thing goes in the middle of you guys but it still clips you on your shoulders um <clears throat> you Don't forget, uh that will take your temporary hp first yes yeah take uh take your temp hp first and whatever uh damage is still left over you uh put out of your normal hp Okay, so how many do I uh, knock down? Sorry, my son was taking a shower and it was a mess uh, behind me. So you took, uh, you take ten. Uh, ten total, uh, however many temporary HP, uh, you take those down first. Anything left over from the temp, uh, then you put <clears throat> into your normal. So like, I didn't see any uh, temporary hit points in my thing. Uh, Sangretti gave them to you. How yes, much yeah. did you oh, give? Oh. Seven. So you had seven. So okay. you'll take three damage. So yeah, you'll take three damage off your normal HP, and you don't have temporary hit points anymore. Um, so I think moved. And feet, worth it. fired a thing. <laughs> Thank um, you, Sam. Thirty feet. The blade kind of chunks, sticks into the ground, over in this square right here. Uh, I'm gonna draw a little. I'll draw a shape over here as the that red square is the buzz saw there <clears throat> uh currently his arm is now buzz saw less <laughs> Woo! um <clears throat> is that thing retractable or it comes flying back for more <laughs> yeah wouldn't that be a thing if it was magnetic or something like that <laughs> um yeah rowan from what you can see uh his buzzsaw arm is now like half as long as it used to be because it doesn't have the buzzsaw uh the buzzsaw is now laying uh, over where this red box is he like fired it out it was like Pachoo! and uh your your friends got clipped by it <laughs> so my turn uh, it is now faint. Uh, sorry, the commoners turn the slaves. Okay. Um, they are. They start. Uh, maybe Damu can see this from where he's standing. Uh, but you can hear like chains, like rustling about in the in the back of the uh, um, <clears throat> the logging camp, and um, <clears throat> you hear uh, people shouting like, "This thing." This thing is going insane! You gotta help us! It's keeping us prisoner here! Well, that was useful. <laughs> so they might be, like, helpful to us. Um, now, uh, that was Fane's turn. Here. What happened to the... What happened to my music? Fane, fuck it up. Do your thing. <laughs> fuck up the monster. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, uh, Fane, uh, you are hidden, uh, in there. This thing does not have a very good perception. Uh, it is staring down at your allies right here. Uh, so as a rogue, um, popping out of stealth to attack this guy, if that is what you wish to do, you would have advantage on your on attack. On top of the fact that I also have advantage from sneak attack anyway. Uh, that is not how sneak attack works. No. You get to add no. your extra damage if you have advantage, or if you have an ally within five feet of the thing you're attacking. Uh, so in this case, enough, are they? no, they're not close enough. Right. Uh, well, but because like you're hidden, first... because you're hidden, making an attack from being hidden gives you advantage. So you mm -hmm. will have uh, you will have sneak attack on this particular well, attack. First off, I want to peek around the corner and see if I can see anything past it, since I have the best angle to see past it. Uh, from where you are, uh, you can see this big ass machine that it was attached to. Was and, yeah, was attached to yeah. So it's not attached to it. Yeah, no, there's like no hose or anything keeping it connected. 
Oh shit, that was my idea. I was gonna go destroy the whole damn thing. <laughs> That would have been clever too. <laughs> that would have been really clever. It would have been cool. I mean, you can still I was gonna use bonus movement just to get in there and smack it. Damn, I'm glad I asked. Oh, uh, Reshi, did you do your breath? I thought you were holding your breath. I was uh, holding it. Yeah, it has to go within range. Oh, it is within range, so yeah. Well, uh, Flav reconsiders his uh, turn. Go ahead and... Uh, Let's see, your breath weapon is what, a uh, constitution save from the enemy? I'm not sure on that one, sir. Uh, it should say on your character sheet. It should be like a, an entry for your breath weapon. I see the breath weapon. Uh, it says DC 11, 2D6 cold. What does that mean? Uh, so I have to roll a, a above an 11. Does it say what kind of saving throw? Not Constitution. Constitution. Constitution 11. So do uh, I just click it, on the button for my breath thing, or do I need to do a constitution? Uh, no. I have to do the constitution, okay. which he rolled a 12, so he's saved. I think I take half of the cold damage. Okay. So roll the 2d6. Yeah, okay, so cool. Yeah, six. This thing is going to take three cold damage. You see a little bit of frost uh, kind of appear on uh, on its uh, its left arm, the big clampy clamp hand that it has. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to... Guys, can we try to talk to it? Do we do? do we uh, need to make friends? <laughs> uh, yeah, you can. You can talk as a free action. It attacked me first. I'm killing this thing. This is true. <laughs> it's the intruder alert. Um, let's see. Unless you can unstoblade my ass, I'm gonna kill it. <laughs> I'm gonna. So Fane's running up to it on his turn. Are you gonna? What you? What you doing, Flave? I'm gonna attack the shit out of it. Let's see. I'm just trying to pick out. So how, how oddly, I got advantage, right? Oddly enough, a screw, like a charging halfling, still, you're you're coming out of being hidden. So oddly enough, yes, you still have advantage on this. Uh, you were you are now too far away uh, to make it back to your hiding spot, um, but uh, you do uh, you, you do have advantage on this attack. So I could have attacked and come back. Um, if you used like a bow or something, you could have um, attacked and then used your cunning action to hide again. But uh, you have moved into melee. Damn, I take that back. <laughs> <clears throat> um, <laughs> since you are new to playing rogue and a D and D altogether, I will say you can take it back this one time. Okay, this one time, I want to take that back. Never again. Be more aware of it. your uh, character moves and where you're moving as a character. <laughs> okay. Um, so if you want to make a, a, a ranged attack, um, is that a uh, is that your bow? Yeah, um, you short bow. Short uh, bow. Yeah, a uh, four. Your short bow goes patink. And uh, just reflex off of its metal uh, body, if you want to call it a body. A chassis, I guess, is the correct term. Um, it just says piercing. I don't think that's damage, right? I don't oh, know that is, the right one Yeah, there. that is a damage. Uh, you have to roll an attack. Um, character sheet set up correctly. Maybe not. Rowan, no, how are your ears? Not... Stay a little warm. Uh, roll real quick um, while I uh, tinker with your character sheet. Uh, roll, just roll a straight uh, d20. And, uh, You're working out, though. I can add the for me. Just roll, roll a d20 here. Add. Okay. I'll tell you a lot. One uh, d20, is it 10? Uh, 10? So the d20 rolled a 10, and then I think you have proficiency with the short bow? I'm not sure. 
Do you have proficiency? Uh, yeah, he has proficiency with a short bow, so... Uh, it's going to be a total of 15. Um, and that will actually hit. Uh, so it will take four, uh, I think, four piercing damage. Let me double check here. Excuse me, vulnerabilities. This is... Uh, your, your attack hits. I'll say that much. Um, so it looks like you put your weapons into global damage modifiers. I didn't uh, do that. <laughs> well, whatever it was, put it into global damage modifiers. So you're going to want to put, uh, short bow up here. Oh, yeah. I'll back. Dex. I'll back. Dex. So it should be that. Um, yeah, sorry everybody. The little character sheet um, malfunction here. Jesus Christ, DM. Get your shit right. together. Uh, well, while I'm doing that, uh, <laughs> Damu, uh, it is your turn. It is. Well, I'm adding in his, uh, he's got a short bow, he's got dagger, it looks like. Anybody hurting bad on life? Uh, I'm doing all right. Your I'm allies. Uh, I was gonna say your allies across the road from you took ten damage a piece. Uh, you and Genie took five a piece, I think. So do that information. So do I take my temporary hit points down? Uh, yes, you should yeah. take those down before you take your normal HP. Okay, yeah, I'm fine. If you hadn't I mean, knocked that off from uh, when you got hit by the door. I'm strong like bull. <laughs> strong like bull. Strong like bull. I'm, I'm not actually. I'm, I'm actually like a paper. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Uh, no, I, I understand entirely. Why do you think I had Reshi try the door? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't want to embarrass myself. I didn't anticipate me standing next to the wall and getting smacked by the door, all right? <laughs> I, I, I miscalculated that. San, are you good? Um, I, I'm fine for now. I, I mean, I got a little bit of damage on me, but not enough to worry. Okay, cool. I'm going to launch my trident in at him. Then. Do it. The short your, uh, is a decent. David special there. Yes, sir. All right, I think I got his sheep fixed up. <laughs> Damn, that sucks. Just make sure. Anything else? At least it comes back to you. <laughs> That's true. Okay. <laughs> Just flies back at his head. <laughs> uh, trident. Uh, the eleven will connect. Uh, with this guy. Wow, really? Yeah. He does it's not a have a very good it's AC. Big. It's very big, very slow. Yeah, I didn't think about the fact that he's huge. Yeah, is he's big? He is big boy. Uh, connect very solidly here. Uh, whittling away at itself. <clears throat> uh, on that hit, uh, it kind of you you hear that sort of nails on a chalkboard scree as your uh, trident kind of scrapes along the outside of this thing. Uh, you, you cut open its carapace a little bit. Uh, you think that this is not doing as much to... Like, your attack's not doing as much to this guy as it might do to another kind of creature. Um, so to put it in yeah, non-narrative... To put it in non-narrative terms, uh, it sounds like this thing has uh, resistance to at, at least piercing damage. As you guys have found out here. <clears throat> Other damage types t as yet to be determined. <laughs> um, so did you throw that or did you make a melee attack? No, I threw it. You threw it, okay. Uh, you can still move on your turn if you wish. Or if you want to just stay within 10 feet, you can also do that. <clears throat> Yeah, I think I'm going to stay here and possibly provide, um, oh, what's the word? 
where it makes me the target instead of the bar. Gotcha. I can't think of the word to use. Thank you. It's okay. I'm pretty sure Reshi and I are about to piss it off pretty good. I'm I'm still hiding over here. <laughs> aggro, um, aggro. That's the word I was looking for. I'm trying to provide. Uh, as we get down to the top of the round, uh, you can see this thing. It is um, it is uh, it's saying uh, uh, oh, what was it? Organic hostiles detected entering orange mode i don't like orange, orange, orange <laughs> better than bad. red though better than red yeah, yeah. The red probably, seems bad probably what if he's going the other direction though what if red is like chill and then like green <laughs> is... <laughs> green is like go for kill <laughs> Or is it is it my turn? Uh, now? Yeah, it is. Yeah. It is your turn. It looks at Damu. It looks back at you. It looks over at where it thought it saw someone with an arrow. Looks back at Damu. It's trying. It looks like it's trying to decide who's the biggest threat. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna go for it, guys. I'm gonna do a uh, oh, fury yeah. of blows. You know, uh, so you make a. So yeah, you would make your normal attacks first, and then you can use your key to make uh, some extra attacks with Flurry. Okay, so my normal attack would be what? What am I rolling? Um, so you'd want to move into melee, and then uh, let me open your character sheet. Or she mm. just went full anime. Because yeah. you gotta, I mean, someone's gotta do something to it. If I die, I die. Mm -hmm. I mean, at least I tried and took some damage off, maybe. Um, so the way this works, if I'm remembering Monk correctly, uh, you would make one unarmed strike, and then I think you can spend one key point to make two more unarmed strikes with Flurry of Blows. Yes, sir. So I'm going to roll that real quick. So yeah, if if you want, you can, yeah. So 23, definitely going to hit. Nice. Uh, so remember, in the chat log, right underneath the 23, if you click on unarmed strike, where it says, like, unarmed strike plus five, that will roll to damage. Uh, as you punch this thing, um, here, I'll move you in because you have to be in melee. Yeah, I figured I have to get closer. Um, sorry. Don't forget, if you do roll one that you don't like, before he tells you if it hits or misses, you can use your bardic inspiration to add a d6 to it. That is also true. Am I, I mean, is this okay? Is this roll good? Should I just go with this one first? No, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, 20, no, 23 that's great. is great. Remember, uh, Damu hit with an 11, so 23, mm -hmm. you're, you're great. Uh, okay. As you punch this thing... Uh, you hear kind of like a bell kind of bong as it reverberates from being, being punched. Uh, you kind of hurt your hand punching this thing. Not enough to take yeah. damage or anything like that, but it uh, it appears to be also resistant to uh, bludgeoning. It was oh, uncomfortable. Okay. Non-magical sources. And I don't think you're a high enough monk yet for your unarmed strikes to be considered magic. Okay. Uh, but you can flurry of blows if you want to spend one key point to do that. I think you have three key points now as a yeah, let's... third level monk. I mean, it seems kind of pointless since he's not really <clears throat> taking damage from it, but I'll I'll do it just for the hell of it. I mean, any damage is better than no damage, right? Exactly. <laughs> do I flurry of blows underneath that roll that I did? Because that's a shit roll. Uh, that is a critical fail. <laughs> Yeah, I'm probably so going to die now. That is automatically just going to miss no matter what you roll, okay. even if you added your Bardic Inspiration. But you still have one more Flurry of Blows attack to do. Is that right? Um, that, I think, is the damage roll. You need to roll another attack. Got you, boo. Yeah. Uh, 14 will hit. Uh, 14 is going to hit. Like I said, an 11 hit, 14 is going to hit. So you can roll the damage for that. Seven. Another seven coming in. Again, it's, uh, you know, you're, you know your your knuckles are going to be bleeding by the end of this one. Um, but, uh, you know, like I said, any damage is better than no damage. 
You can, if you want, move away from it. You will get opportunity attacks if you leave its threat range. But, I'd like uh, to do that. Okay. Uh, you think this thing can reach 10 feet. It's got pretty long arms. Um, so if you were to move back... Uh, so yeah. If you do that, you will be attacked by this thing. Are you okay, okay. with getting attacked? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really okay with that, honestly. You are? Okay. Should I go back a little further? I mean, I don't know. Um, Could I go back further? Well, if he, if he makes his attack, you may not be moving at all. <laughs> uh, he is going to try better? and, uh, yeah, that's, that's good if you make it there. Uh, let's okay. see if he hits you with an attack. Uh, he rolls a seven. His big clamp hands kind of scooping down. Uh, they get stuck in the dirt, and you do make your escape, so you can move. Um, I think as a monk, do you have... Uh, that's only 30 feet anyway. 35 feet. She has 35 yeah, feet. Yeah, that's only 30 feet anyway, so you're good there. Um, okay. All right. Uh, that's going to bring us to Rowan. You uh, just got smacked by a door. Uh, your buddy is hitting it with a trident, and your monk just punched it a bunch and uh, walked away, kind of shaking her knuckles out. <laughs> Uh, I, I'm feeling good. Um, okay. All right. Pa panic is set in. Uh, <laughs> um, where is where is the where, where did the trident slice the robot? Um, the trident sliced the robot probably on like the forearm of his buzzsaw less buzzsaw hand. <laughs> okay. Well, all right. We're not gonna pay attention to that then. Um. <laughs> The cockpit-esque opening, is it open? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's open. It is open? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm relatively close to this thing. Mm -hmm. I think I know where your mind's going. Um, I'll say this thing is built for a creature smaller than you. Uh, you could probably squeeze in there, though. Maybe I wasn't trying to get into it, all right? Mr. DM, why don't you stop <laughs> Stop telling me what to do? Now his brain's like, but that's an interesting possibility. <laughs> Did you stop just trying to tell me what to my do, action. DM? No. Um, I ain't telling you what I, to do. I just thought about that maybe this. what you were Watch thinking this. About. Watch this. I want to cast Minor Illusion okay. in front of this damn thing. Uh, what is uh, the illusion going to I'm be? I'm digging it. I'm digging it. It's going to be a slightly larger version of myself, <laughs> <laughs> like jacked. I'm going to be. I'm going to be like Rowan Janae, but like swole because I want to. I want to look like I'm like a threat. I want to. I want to elevate the threat level of this illusion and put him. Put him about. Can I put him? Let's see. Does it say how far away I can put this thing? Thirty feet. Yeah. Can I put him? What, how? What's the square radius here? What do these? What do these? I think uh, five feet. Five Each feet. One is yeah. Five. So this you could put. Um, yeah, it would just be any one one square within thirty feet. Put him you. about twenty about twenty feet directly in front of him in the road. Okay. Right next to that? me. That's my cantrip. Yes, right next to you. <laughs> All right. I, no, that's that's actually super perfect. Trust me. We'll <laughs> do that. What I'm gonna try to do. <laughs> you, uh, All right, so there's a pop up. there's a jacked ass. Yeah. Let's put a um, hard. Hold on a sec. Let me um. Let's find a good little icon for him. Here we go. Jacked. He's a little. Yeah. Put, put the little. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, he's bowed jacked. up. He's yeah. Sh just shredded to the yeah. gills. We can show the the audience a little. Little strong boy icon there. <laughs> okay. And what I'm gonna try to do here is I'm gonna try to get behind him. Okay. Uh, give me a um. Give me an acrobatics check. You're kind of kind of squeezing past this guy. It's not impossible, but uh. Just want to see if you accidentally like bump him. Oh, nice. Shit. Okay, you um. <laughs> like a ninja. Like yeah, like. 
like the like the right back. wind across an open plain you barely even noticed <laughs> so so i'm back here now right yeah you're you nimbly squeeze through that little opening and uh, make around behind him so okay. you uh you still have a bonus action you've used your action to cast uh minor image but uh, you are I now did, behind right? him. Yeah, yeah. You cast the minor image with your action, so you still have like a bonus action you could use to like give somebody bardic or uh, could something we, like could, that. Could, who, who? All right. Who currently has bardic right now? Reshi and I both have bardic. Uh, I being Damu does not. Bane does not. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I was about to say let's 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 hit Damu up with that since he's kind of close to. Can I can I give him yeah. my? Yeah. Yeah. My body Perfect. I love it. <laughs> All right. So he's 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 juiced up too now. I can I cast another spell since that was a, a minor that was a cantrip. Um, not on this turn. That uh. You... Fudging son of a I, well, I'm behind him now, so I'm in. Yeah. I'm in danger. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so all right, so all right. I'm, I'm in I'm, danger. I mean, if 23 means he doesn't really even notice I'm behind. No, him, right? he doesn't even. He the Jack he genie thinks... is just mesmerizing. Yeah, okay, he right, he right. If, listening. If he even noticed you over here to begin with, he now thinks you're over here. <laughs> nice. With that acrobatics check, you just like whoo, just slip in. He doesn't even notice. He's like, "Holy shit, that's a buff dude!" All right, that's that's what I want. It's like beach. He must work out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Fucking <laughs> goddamn that reference. <laughs> <laughs> he must work out. <laughs> oh god, Samsonite. Um, <clears throat> I'll bring us up to sift. All right, so uh, I'm going to deftly maneuver around uh -huh, uh -huh. the illusion as to not occupy the same space as it at any time. Sure. Uh, and at the top of her lungs, she's going to scream, hey, ugly, over here. <laughs> and cast Witch Bolt at level two. Ooh, buddy. This is... Oof, gonna eat That's the bardic a... on that. So... Uh, D6. Ooh. All right. Grand total of... Mm, I don't even want to say it. I don't even want to say it. What is it? What is it? It's a nine. A nine. Oh, man. It just hits. Are you serious? It wow. Just hits hits it's a oh, scene <laughs> so good okay. I would... <laughs> well I now we know it's ac yeah i forgot to say this beforehand but i would like to use my hex blade curse on it as well Ooh, all right all right can you so, wait hex blade curse... hex blade curse is a bonus action does it uh does the damage affect spells or does it just affect this you doesn't do like extra... two bonus to damage rolls, score a critical hit on a 19 or 20, and regain 7 HP if it dies. Interesting. All right, cool. I thought that just so, just uh, melee attacks with your with your weapon, but man. um, I need a concentration icon on Sif. Be back in 20 seconds. Concentration. 30 seconds. Rock and roll. Uh, total. What? All oh, right, because I can't. Hold on a sec. Uh... Uh, what is good for concentration? Um, let's put, uh, uh, how about this one with like the lines coming out of the dude's head? <laughs> Works for me. So that's going to be 2d12 plus 2 is Hexblade's curse. 2d12 plus 2. Holy shit. Let's zoom in on nice. this. Nice. That Die. warlock life. Well, let's see this big old badassery J in the shadow, so we can't see it. What is that? <laughs> what is that, baby? Six plus five right, plus two. The battle should be a battle. We shouldn't be in narrative mode. Sorry. <laughs> That's why I have uh, this. Scene. 
So we are looking at 13 damage. Uh, 13 damage. As well as, as, I, as long as I maintain concentration, mm -hmm. each round that I come up, I can cause another 2d12. This? Um, so, you're, you're, you're coming in as a uh, higher level character. Come in at level 3. Uh, Reno Witch Bolt's a level 1 spell. Um, I'm assuming you've used this before. Right? Never once. Not you, once. You I've characters... never even had someone in my campaign use it before. <clears throat> I mean your character. I'm assuming your character oh, has used yeah. this before. I would assume so. right? All She's right. doing her best Palpatine impression. Unlimited power! You have... Uh, you've never experienced a reaction from something quite as violent as this thing reacting to your witch bolt it like lights up all of the lights on it they're flickering it's starting to like seize up and shake uh sparks showering out of this thing uh you think that it is probably vulnerable to lightning damage as you almost fucking kill this thing with one <laughs> level two witch bolt. You found waiting its for own that. Spot. Yep. This thing was supposed uh, to be dangerous. <laughs> it probably really doesn't like me now. <laughs> uh yeah, no, it really doesn't like you. However, as it moves away from Genie, um who is still not back. Um, or maybe he is. I think I hear him. Some I think I hear him. Through. He's back. I would like to point out that did way more damage than I expected it to, because a nine is really low for a roll. Dude, well, I was wondering though, yeah, with the mechanical uh, stuff, I thought his uh, he was supposed to be a glass cannon. He's supposed to have low AC, really high damage, and a lot of hit points. Um, you literally did more ha than half. I again, I created this before. Uh, you know, I even knew who you guys were going to be playing. So, <laughs> and and we've had character swaps since I uh, even you know since then. So, you know, I, I'm going on the record. I create shit. The world is what the world is. You happen to come with a guy who has lightning powers. You got I lucky. Come back with. You got lucky. Um, I missed it, but I, uh, I fucked it up good. Yeah. Sangretti just palpatined the shit out of this thing with some lightning and fried over half of its hit points in one go. Because this thing's oh. vulnerable to lightning damage. It takes oh. twice the damage from lightning than you roll. Uh, as it moves Damn. away from you, though, Genie, you can, uh, you can make an attack of opportunity on this thing if you have a sword or a dagger or something. I don't know if you have any melee weapons on you. I mean, it's not gonna do Go ahead much. And punch the robot. <laughs> it might not do much, that. but this thing is on its last legs. Like this thing is fucking like it is falling apart as it is shambling towards. I Sith. throw. I throw my water skin at it. Uh, you throw your water skin at it. It flops to the ground. <laughs> Shit! Oh, I thought it would have been cool it if it ruptured and it was electrified. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was electrocuted. Uh, I am I am you... making a continuous bolt of lightning at it right now. That's that why I have true. concentration on it. Uh, but a water skin is like meant for travel, and it's durable. Yeah, that's um, fair. <clears throat> I mean, it was open though. It is gonna <laughs> come over here, and in its last attempts, it is a uh, it is going to try, and uh, <clears throat> do a clamp hand maneuver on you. Is going to attempt to grapple me? Uh, it might, but it only attacks with a nine. Uh, it is I'm, going uh... to swing around with its other hand, because I'm assuming a nine misses. <laughs> yeah, I have uh, AC of 15. And it is going to fucking critically fail. Wow, okay. This, uh... It's all fucked up. <laughs> it's malfunctioning pretty hardly. It just yeah. got Palpatine. Yeah. Narratively, this, this, this is good. 
Uh, but it's just my luck, guys. This is literally just... I I have terrible rolling in games. <laughs> I'm so bad at d d Uh, yeah, this thing fucking comes up and just impotently strikes at the air around you. It, uh, it's targeting maneuvers or, uh, you know, sensors and shit are probably fried. Uh, yeah, this thing is, is on its fucking last legs, guys. Uh, the fucking commoners, uh, who can see this are just like, Yeah, fucking take that thing down! It's insane! <laughs> the thing, it fucking, it came to life and it fucking trapped us! Like, fucking kill that thing and let us go! Uh, Fane, it's your turn. Do you, can you kill Steel? <laughs> Do the honors, Fane. You got this. Fuck him up. All you gotta do is d do five damage to it somehow. <laughs> that means I'm going to. Um, <laughs> if it's not magic, you gotta do ten. I don't have any magic, do I? No, you I don't. I believe you do yet. <laughs> nope. Okay. Well, but if you do sneak attack it, don't you get bonus damage? Uh, That's what does. I was asking about. He, uh, yeah, he he does. I, I don't know much about the rogue class. I've never played it myself. Uh, right, I want to do a sneak attack with. Yep, and you can you put sneak... my rapier back in here. You forgot to put my uh, rapier I put back the, in there. I didn't put the rapier. Hold on a sec. Well, I oh, didn't you want see that it. rapier. I didn't see it in your inventory. It wasn't it's listed. It's the I renamed it to S Oh, uh, that's what an S doc is. My bad. It's a German rapier, flavor wise. It's good for piercing. Listen, I don't. <laughs> for piercing and then he coughs. I don't know. <laughs> I don't Sorry. know German. What do you want from me? Shies it's a really, nothing. really neat sword. That's a D8, right? It's rapiers are yeah. D8s, I believe. It's also yeah. a finesse weapon. Yeah, 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 it's finesse. All right, there you go, buddy. All right, so... You also get advantage because you're flanking. Oh, uh, we are... Oh, wait, no, you're not. No, no, no. It doesn't matter if you got a big hit. Flanking yeah. rule. But he we, did uh, crit. We're not using flanking in this game. He did like, crit. Oh, gotcha. He did crit. So, uh, <clears throat> that is going to be <laughs> eleven plus three. <laughs> An eleven plus three plus your uh, sneak attack. Remember. Uh, so you roll. roll that? Yeah, roll another d six. Uh... <clears throat> Uh, you can do that by uh, either typing slash roll space 1d6, or if you go over to the left-hand menu, like where you can like do the measuring tape and stuff, there should be like a little d20 icon second up from the bottom. And you can just yeah, click on the four. d6. A four. Uh, so that is going to be a total of 17. Uh, half of 17 is more than uh, five. <laughs> How do you want to do this, Flav? You're going to fucking kill this thing. I want to jab my stock into its casting. I thought you said dab for a second. I was like, damn, that's bold. <laughs> dab on the haters. But I'm going to do it as a dab move. That's a reverse dab, right? <laughs> uh, like as you pull it out, you're going to dab across. Is that what it is? You're, yeah. Jesus. No, I'm going to dab it in. I'm going to dab it in. I'm okay. going to go in dabbing. You uh you pierce into this thing's like central processing power core, uh right into the back. You were looking at this thing. You were checking it out. You saw where like this little pipe down here, uh connected into its back, charging it up. And you just stab your your blade right into it and uh, shut this fucking big boy down. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> Uh, spoils the war. We'll uh, go back to our more. Boy, I'm pastoral... glad I stuck behind this thing. <laughs> I'll be in like ten seconds, guys. Okay. I, I had no idea that I was basically gonna roll the damn thing with lightning. <laughs> yeah, I I didn't even know you had that spell. <laughs> yeah. Um. Uh, yeah. Very good spell. Uh, combat being over. Um, actually, let's just keep it on this screen for now, uh, because then people can still see me as well. <laughs>
Um, <clears throat> yeah, guys. I would like to search the Gnomish logging unit. Not necessarily for treasure or anything, but something sure, I could take sure. a trophy off of it with. Um. Uh, well, there's like the big old buzz saw over here that you could take. Um, as far it would as have to be action... small enough to like keep oh. in my pocket. I'm using pocket. the wrong keyboard. Sorry. I just want you to know I'm dissecting this thing as soon as you all are done with it. Um. Uh, he wants the little knob on the joystick that controls it. Yeah, I want the eight ball shifter on the inside. Yeah, he wants the eight ball yeah. shifter. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, that, that is now canon. Uh, you unscrew the eight ball shifter knob. <laughs> yeah. Let me just add that to my inventory uh, real quick. Guys. I mean, you could actually take the whole, uh, the, the, the haft and the knob if you wanted to and probably enchant that to be like a wand or some shit if you wanted. Oh, yeah, I'm taking the whole thing. I'll, I'll take the whole eight ball shifter. Yeah. <laughs> Can I take this? Is the saw blade small enough? I could put it in my pack and use it to throw. Uh, the saw blade is like about as big as you are, buddy. So that's a yes. It's, uh, no, that is a no. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. That is a not a chance in hell. <laughs> Can I use it as a hat? No. I mean, you could take it and get it fashioned into a helmet or a metal hat of some sort. It's a giant circular saw blade, dude. It's meant for cutting down jungle trees. Like, oh. thick-ass fucking trees. Point of reference, since I used my Hexblade's curse on that and it just died, I regained seven health, so I'm back to full health. Nice. Nice, nice, as they say. Uh, I think Reshi's the only one who's maybe still a little bit injured. Yeah, How give me one hurt? second. <clears throat> uh, maybe Damu as well. I know he took some damage there. Yeah, I took three damage. <laughs> and Rishi, I know... Rishi had some half half naked uh, elves running through. The... <laughs> exactly, exactly what just happened. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's been a fun campaign, everybody. I'm gonna get banned from Twitch now for uh, having naked no, kids on my camera stream. off. I shut my camera off. Save <laughs> <Dave>, everybody. <laughs> um, let's see, yeah. What else? What is this thing made of? Um, uh, I mean, this is a buzzsaw blade. Uh, since uh, there's probably some cracked arcanite. Uh, that you guys could take some Arcanite shards, um, which you could use for, like, enchanting materials. Uh, other than that, it's just, you know, made out of steel, iron, um, that kind of stuff. Um, you know, How just, many just Arcanite shards per person? Um, I would just say, let's write, write down, like, 25 gold worth of Arcanite shards. I don't, I'm not getting into, into like nitty gritty. So that's if you wanted to split it up amongst everybody. Uh, there are five of you. If you wanted to keep it all in one spot, uh, that would be 125 art gold of Argonite shards total. Uh, 25 gold? Um, not 25 yeah. gold. It's, tw it's, this is a special treasure item. Um, so hey, is the the buff genie illusion still there? Um, I took it off the map, but if he's I mean, if he's only holding lasts for a minute. Yeah, I was gonna say it only lasts for a minute, which is why I deleted it off the thing. But this is like right after this guy got killed, so it's only been up for you know maybe ten seconds, ten don't fifteen you, seconds. Don't you touch? Don't you touch illusion genie? Weird. I know where this is going. Sift isn't gonna touch, but Sift oh, is going to. <laughs> Is going to take you know, the, the ones up it. and down, like taking a look, because you know, you, you know, good looking mm -hmm. kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's so, me, but Jack. I mean, I get does it. Does anybody else want any of these Arcanite shards, or am I taking them all? I want I a little bit. Can I have? Can I have? Can I have a few of them? I like them. Don't um, eat them. They're bad for your health. You guys can pool. Your Arcanite later on, if uh, you guys need to. So I take exactly three. I've already put it in. It's done. 
All right, cool. You took <laughs> you took three big ones that are worth twenty five gold of Arcanine shards. Uh, you guys can just copy and paste that into your treasure section on the bio page of your character sheet. That'd be a good place to. Hey, Reshi. Wait, twenty five gold of Arcanine shards for everybody? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Unless I you give don't you want yours, and then you can give potion. it to me. Couldn't hear you, bro. I give you a normal healing potion. Thank you, sir. Does that put me back up to 15? Uh, I believe normally you'd have to roll for it, but you're not down but three health points, so I, statistically you should be good. Yeah. Um, so yeah, just... we're, we're, we're looting this robot, and there's literally indentured slaves over here in these tents we should probably go talk <laughs> yeah. to them no 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 they're fine for now they're fine they're chained they're not gonna bother us yeah Let's a couple of, uh, a couple of seconds go by and um you hear some like tugging at the chains they're like hey, hey, is that thing is it dead hey oh you guys yeah, we'll, right, be right just, we'll be right there i just be right there I just want to clarify, if nobody else is wanting the rest of part of any of these Arcanite shards, I will take the other I took my 25 200. gold worth. I uh, know, uh, but there was 125 gold worth. Well, that's, I, will keep the other I told everybody to put 25 gold worth on their character sheet. The so. DM, yeah, the DM's already but, said. It's, it's, but, it's, been, it's been decided. Yeah, but, it's been decided, okay, Flake. Moving I'll on. I'll check after this. It's been decided! <laughs> I'll, <laughs> I'll check after this. Uh, I'm not online. I'm gonna come up over here to these slaves for when we get to that part. I'm, I I want to actually I want to roll uh I want to I want to sneak. Uh okay, you you sneak. <laughs> stealth check. All right, I'm going to do a stealth check. They are distracted by the people who actually care about them. Uh we're going to if you if you're like trying to check out any of these <laughs> buildings or something fan, we'll get to that in a bit. Um Sift approaches the the slaves. You can't uh, out sneak the DM. What do you so, <laughs> and be, uh, before uh, we get too into it, do these mm -hmm. people look like before the Gnomish logging unit they were slaves? Like, does it look like they've been slaves for a, a decent amount of time, or does it just look like they were chained up sometime around uh, two, three weeks ago? Uh, yeah, no, they're not like they're not skeletally skin skinny or anything like they're that. They're not gaunt or anything. They're no, just... no, okay. they they're okay. they're haggard. You know, they're worse for I, wear. But I have yeah, question. they look like they work here. Yes, yeah, they okay. they look like I mean their clothes are dirty and tattered at this point. Uh, you Do know, they look like normal slave clothes, or are they no, just like... no, no, okay. So no, they're, they're wearing... obviously people who have been chained up who are not yeah, actually yeah, yeah. slaves, but they were being enslaved. Right. Guys. They're they're wearing like the fantasy version of work boots, jeans, and like red and black plaid shirts. They're like fuck it. They're lumberjacks, you know. Guys, I found this beast wandering around. Oh damn! I'd be very careful. Very Let's dangerous. Uh, beast. I petted it. I petted it. Didn't bite me. I'm putting it down now. Be just Can we roll in there? That's the camp mascot. <laughs> Can I roll for eight bit? Uh, no. <laughs> you can't eat her. <laughs> I'll eat her. Um, <laughs> as you guys approach these slaves, they're like, "Oh, thank gods! Oh, thank the gods!" Um, we'll just nominate uh this this one here where uh Sift is he's kind of like the one talking. Um, <clears throat> I think the gods, you guys arrived. It's like there was there was an envoy from from a sorry that came. Oh. Oh, almost two weeks ago, and that thing killed it. I, 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 I can't believe that you you guys destroyed that thing. It, it, oh, you can you let us free? Can, can you let us out? Okay, step one. Calm down. You're not in danger. Step two. Do you know where the keys are? The, the, the keys? No. Um, he kind of holds up the the, sh the shackles these things are like um bent together like just sheer force they're like curled in and almost like fused <clears throat> do any of you guys have any blacksmithing experience <clears throat> this is to the party mm, no are I'm they all assuming... fused together <clears throat> I'm assuming I can't use thieves' tools to pry them apart. No, thieves' tools are much more uh, fine manipulation tools. 
think lock picks. Like if you yeah. bent them too hard, they would break. Right. Right. Could I frost? Like I know this sounds stupid, but could I like frost break the chains? Like possibly. Um. Make them an Elsa. Yeah. It? Yeah. Can we use the hand saws to just cut the chains? Do you guys have um that might be that might also be an option. Uh well, I can probably if I you have someone who's point. rather strong, um I would say Reshi with her frost breath. Uh you don't have like uh, you use a lot of your you know resources of frost breath to like attack that thing. Uh but I think or... you still got enough in the in the can as it were to give someone advantage on a strength check to try and break these chains. Okay. Uh, if someone has like uh, a good strength and like can I some kind of weapon to do that can with? Can I give them a hammer to do that with too? You know, I found um, three hammers. I could break these cuffs. Uh, sure. Yeah. I well, mean, if advantage... we're looking for expediency, I can I can literally break all these. I I can just eldritch blast them away, but I'm not exactly safe. Yeah. <laughs> You still uh, have that? We'd, we'd, we'd really rather a, a safe <laughs> option. And then instead of, you know, just shooting us with magic, it'd be, you know, it'd be great. I was just, I was putting it on the table. I just wanted to let you know. does not like saving people. Uh, so, you know, you could also, you know, worst comes to worse, uh, we could, uh, use, like, some, sh there should be some shovels in the, those supplies over there. He points over that way. Uh, it was just like dig up the these posts, and we could try cutting the chains in the in the sawmill. No, oh, no, no. I I think we got this. <laughs> Dama, you uh, you look you look pretty briefy. You you think you can uh, break these chains real quick? I got a sixteen strength. Okay, give it a shot. Good. Worst case scenario, it doesn't work, then we yeah. dig up the poles. You're gonna have. Uh... You're going to have advantage on this. Uh, you can do athletics if you're trained in it. Otherwise, uh, just, just hit, give me that give me that good old strength check. Not a save, a check. Uh, again, athletics or strength. You get advantage on it because Breshi is using her uh, cold breath to freeze this shit and make it brittle. Do you want me to cast that real quick? Uh, no, this is just flavor. Okay. This... <laughs> Uh, this is 17. sauce, as it were. Um, I'd say a 17 is pretty good. Um, I think it's probably a uh, a bit extraneous. Is that the word I'm looking for? To do eight sure. of them. So I'll say uh, with a 17 and a good 30 minutes to an hour's worth worth of work, you know, freezing these things beating it with a hammer freezing it some more beating it with a hammer uh you guys eventually uh free all eight of these workers um that wasn't too hard what's gonna work yeah. teamwork i'll be expecting uh, my force lightning ballad here soon there's a, there's a lot a lot less threatening than I thought that fight was going to be. But <laughs> you guys are a level higher than I intended <laughs> this fight to be played out as. So that thing, that thing still <laughs> took a chunk out of us with that buzz blade. Though. That is true. It is very true. <laughs> I'm a lucky bastard, and I hit the right spot. I got hit by the door. I'm fine. It's a. Uh... <laughs> I forgot you got hit by the door. <laughs> <laughs> All about positioning. <laughs> um, they uh, they say, oh my, oh my God, uh, there's there's just so much, just so much to do. That thing, we don't. There was some weird thunderstorm that happened, and some lightning hit hit the arcanite core inside of it, and it just started talking. The thing's not. The, the thing wasn't an arcanobot. It was just it was just a no mach machine like it was supposed to be piloted by people it, it, whatever happened with the with the lightning striking its its arcing core like it, it came to life it, was, it went insane it, it saw it saw itself existing as a slave because it was 
a tool. It was built to be a tool. <clears throat> and it enslaved the rest of us because you know, we're not we're not fighters. We're not heroes like you. We're just we're just guys with the saws and axes. <laughs> And it enslaved us, and it made us cut down all the trees manually and drag them in here manually. You can see, uh, as he's talking about this, you can actually see there's more logs on this pallet than I put on the map. Uh, he's like, we've just been cutting logs. Like, day in and day out. We haven't been sending them down river or anything. It was just making us do work out of spite or something. Man, you guys have a lot of wood. <laughs> is it hardwood? It, or is uh, it soft hardest. wood? It, it's hard. It's always hard. You can have soft wood. No, no, no soft wood out here. There's, there's soft wood trees right over there. It's called shrubbery. <laughs> we ain't cutting that down. We only cut down the hard trees. <laughs> At wood. first, this guy's like, he's a little bit confused and he sees what what's going on. And he's just like, all right, yeah, okay, cool. Time, great time for jokes. Thanks again. Okay, cool. <laughs> Did they have a lot of sap? <laughs> oh, he's like, yeah, yeah, a lot of sap. Just so do you have like a dining hall? Real sticky. It's just all so over the place. Just leaking everywhere. Uh, he says, yeah, that uh, that building over there is... Uh, here, I'll, I'll reveal on the map oh gotta use my other computer <laughs> um so that is a storehouse and this is like the bunk house area over i want to go down here why are that you already is... in all the buildings get out of the buildings <laughs> no i'm going <laughs> i gotta find stuff <laughs> he's like yeah so uh i'm going to go sit down in the dining hall and have a drink uh if you do need us I'm gonna. I'm going to have already snuck into these places and started scavenging for loot. Are we done talking to the, to the poor um, people who we so, rescued? So to answer the question, uh, where you said like where like the mess hall was, he's like, yeah. So that that's like the bunkhouse. That's our storage room. He's like, we've been eating increasingly rotten food over the last like five days now. Uh, can I can I use that sleight of hand check to like, so what kind of valuables are laying around, or is that too low? Um, I mean, to what's your alignment? <laughs> um, you just chaotic went neutral. Full, you went full as... Skyrim and just started <laughs> looting the fucking. Building. I'll just say as as just as a a general thing. I know we got some new players here. Uh, typically you don't roll anything unless I asked for it. So that's just a thing. Uh, you also don't use sleight of hand to find stuff. You use sleight of hand to steal the things you've already found. That you would, okay. I would, if you want to look for things to steal, okay, that would be an investigation wait. roll. All right. Oh, shit. Which you just critically <laughs> failed <laughs> with the five. Uh, keep your hands in your pockets while we you talk don't, to these people. You don't find anything worth stealing. There are things to steal. You don't find anything worth stealing. There's rotting food, there are lumber mill tools, there's, you know, some, like, if you want a blanket, I guess, from the bunkhouse. Do I get another roll if I go to a different building and do it? Uh, once we uh, come back and let other people do some stuff okay. as well. <laughs> just wanted to make sure. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, so I, I'm going to head to the mess hall there and take a break after we were freed everyone from chains and okay i've told them basically you know once you collect yourself come find us thing okay um, so are the slaves then free to go or are me are we like releasing them they're gone or yeah yeah gone you um um uh, you freed these guys uh they aren't actually like slaves as you would think of them uh the they have they were unwillingly imprisoned by a machine that came to life when it got hit by uh, some lightning in its magical like engine you know uh, so Arcanite oh, workers? Uh, something I meant to mention when I was giving you guys the Arcanite shards uh, for you new players to this world Arcanite is a physical embodiment of magic it is a crystal uh, in our world it would look like rose quartz so your standard you know 
kind of crystal looking thing it's I definitely you know, know what bright pink look like. <laughs> when you think of like a, a long pointy crystal that's you're thinking of rose quartz it's just your standard mm. crystal shape um <clears throat> it is they're bright magenta and they are they grow on ley lines which are you know the magic channels uh of the world and uh they are literally physical magic um they are used in this world to power uh, arcane machinery. They're ground into dust to use for enchanting materials, to imbue weapons and armor and various things with magic. Um, so the, the what happened here is the head lumberjack tells it, there was a lightning storm, some lightning hit the Arcanite core in that machine, and it gained, it basically gained sentience learned that it was what it thought was a slave right because it was a machine to use for work and it uh it got really mad and killed a bunch of people hence all the graves outside and um enslaved the rest to do its work instead and they've just been cutting trees and piling them up because that's what it did uh they have sent none of it down river there is like a month's worth of logs just waiting to be sent down river to Asari here. Um But uh but yeah. If you guys uh so Sift says to meet in the um in the the common building there. Um some of the lumberjacks are going to kinda, you know, take stock of what is still around. Um, this, the head, the head lumberjack will come in here, though, to can continue I... conversations. If you want to make another investigation check in that building, you can do that. 13. Mm -hmm. That's better. Uh, so this is a 13. It's going to be some nails or tools or something. <laughs> you really <laughs> just want to take stuff, don't you? Um, <laughs> That's that... why I built this character. <laughs> that, uh... That building, uh, there are tools um, in there. There's some, like, hand saws and some hammers and um, stuff like that. Uh, this up here, this room with the circular table, looks like a foreman's office. Um, there's some, you know, like, manifesto. Not man Is that the right word? Manifestos? No. Uh, log books and stuff like that. Haha. <laughs> Get it. Manuals. Log books. Manuals. Yeah, some manuals to how to how to run the the, the big saw here. Um, also, uh, some yeah, just Can like work logs too? and things like that. Yeah, if you want. <laughs> Are they worth anything? No, they're not. Yeah, no, I can't sell them. The only copper? the only everything in that room would be at he's... at best a copper, and you do not have yeah. the ability to carry he's at like, all. He's just... like a police officer, right? <laughs> Yeah, he's supposed he's We're supposed to be a dirty cop. Off. I'm a dirty cop. You're starting to see maybe why he was sent over to the <laughs> bumfuck nowhere I'm instead of being kept on the force back out. in Renea's house. I'm Alamo. starting to worry about paying you guys to hang out. <laughs> I haven't done anything bad, my dude. <laughs> well, yeah. The company. I, I haven't seen a penny of that, by the As, way. Uh, I'll just save you the time, Flav. Uh, I, I took, anything I, I subtracted it, so you need to put it in your. You need to put that five gold in your. Uh... All the oh, food right. here is rotting, so even that's not worth taking. Uh, you can't carry the giant logs; they're way too big, and uh, most everything else is just lumberjack like uh, supplies. I don't want Ropes. Okay, in that it's case, not a, I'm gonna not a castle. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna take this chance to like mix up where everything was then. All right, there's a little game. <laughs> that that just, is just gonna move their tools like a dick. That it's is like screwdrivers. No, this is hammers now. For as <laughs> for as much as you have tried, that is actually something a halfling might do. <laughs> um, what is uh, what are Reshi and Damu doing? We haven't I haven't heard from you guys in a while. Which means I'm just gonna take all this crap back out of my inventory. <laughs> These guys are coming over here, just trying. To I'm in a see. hall. I'm in the hall, trying to find a semblance of something to actual dr actually drink. Um, 
I think I'm gonna follow that lead. Yeah, these guys will come in here as I'm well. I'm gonna sit on the barrel right here. Uh, that is actually, you know, Hot because... Lady. Uh, it's a table, I think, right? <laughs> since... Uh, no, it's uh, gonna be the place where everybody poops, I bet. <laughs> Isn't uh, it? You guys, I mean, I can't see through your characters. Uh, but yeah, this is like a common room in here. Um, there's like tables, chairs. Uh, there's like a cask on the on the main table in the building uh, here. So you, you can like get some uh, some need out of it. I'm going to say the one thing they have here that is not spoiled is the alcohol because alcohol is already spoiled grain right nice. oh, damn, i forgot to look for alcohol <clears throat> pour me a glass good thing you didn't find it because now everybody's having some drinks <clears throat> um but yeah sift you said to meet up in here are you taking a i'm assuming you're taking a short rest uh and you said uh if uh this you know the slaves to come find you uh the the main Sorry, the lumberjacks to come find you. They're not slaves. Keep slaves. Um, yeah, um, the uh, the the head lumberjack uh, kind of follows you into into here. Uh, they're you know resting as well because you know trying to you know rubbing their it's, wrists. You know, and, being and unchained ankles. is a big deal. Yeah, it is yeah. emotionally taking a rest. Uh, if uh, there's anything else you guys need to know from these guys, um, question. Yes, question. Can I go back out towards this dead carcass of a machine and oh. try to find my arrow? Uh, yeah. Uh, give me an investigation check. <laughs> uh, with a seven, you find the arrowhead. Um, the haft of the arrow is, uh, was snapped when it, uh, when it hit the, uh, the, the machine. So, well, so I can take the arrowhead and the, and the feather that was on it? Okay. <clears throat> yeah, and if you wanted to spend uh, your your short rest trying to make a new arrow, uh, you could do that. Uh, you don't have uh, the tools for it, but uh, you could just make like a straight up uh, dexterity. Stick arrow, yeah. It's like a dexterity check. I mean, there's wood. Like, there's definitely, like, wood that you could make an arrow shaft out of. I'm just saying he he's not trained in fletching tools, so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's wood everywhere. Yeah. Is there any, are any of the people here, since they work in wood, are they trained? Oh, uh, no, fletchers? they're lumberjacks. They're not fletchers. Then oh, manual laborers. Oh, we should have let them die. They just bring in a circle. <laughs> what? <laughs> wow. Useless people. What is the thing under Sift here that is I going to? Uh, oh, sorry. What was what was that, Rachel? I circled something on the map. I was just making sure. I think that's a saw blade, but I just yeah, it yeah, kind yeah. of looks like a door. Okay. It's a giant. It's a giant ass saw blade that is. Uh, it runs with this um, the mill. The water. Uh, the, the water. water uh, yeah, the water. How wheel. much is it worth? It is. Too big to move. Uh, Sift but is gonna if come up to you could steal it, quick. if you could steal it, it would actually be worth a lot of money because it's a fucking giant piece of machinery. Damu can't move it. No. Why no. would Damu? Why would Damu? This is eight? a ten foot wide <laughs> buzz saw, my dude. Ten yeah. foot tall, ten feet. Guys, I'm starting to worry about the investigator. I'm, yeah, me, me too. <laughs> There's a wagon. I would no, like to is, intimidate him. We're all gonna investigate the investigator. God. I would like to intimidate our uh, investigator to get him to, uh, I guess, be good for the moment while we figure out what's going on. I'm going to try and persuade. What has come with him to let me? Thank you. <laughs> Thank I'm you. Try and persuade him to let me be bad. And I'm rolling a twenty-one, by the way. Uh. Do you, do you want to have a, a roll off, uh, Mr. Folsom? Is that what you want? <laughs> I, I want to know where I went wrong in my life. <laughs> Good question. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, 
Fane, you lose, because I got a natural 20 plus 6. <laughs> <laughs> Get Stop wrecked, trying to stick man. everything in your f***ing pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey, uh, at least it wasn't your shit, okay? I don't want to hear it. There will be time for sleight of hand checks and stealing things. Believe me. This, I, there is I, a lot of game I ahead a, of us. I, I got I, I, something I want to do here. Um, I want to take a big old swig of water out of my uh, that out of my water skin that I picked up off the ground after attacking the heat creature. It's about to say you threw that shit. <laughs> right, I'll pick right. It, yeah. Pick it up. Okay, yeah, yeah. Damn, um, I could have stole that. I want to I want to take a big <laughs> swig of water, Jesus Christ! Pour the rest of it out, and then fill it with ale from that giant keg right there in the middle. Yes, that yes, that is definitely something that can happen. <laughs> nice free food. Yeah, you never turn down free booze. They I, yeah the the even the workers they're like you deserve it. Do you fucking yeah. deserve it? Nice. Yes, like you so fucking saved will... us. You freed us. Have all the fucking ale and mead that you want. Thank you for the booze. So what you should be doing is trying to find all the toilet paper in here, since you're trying to find everything. In that case, can I'll I shit in the woods. Him? I just want the liquor. <laughs> Same. Can I can I take after Janie and like dump two of my water skins out? Sure. Yes. <laughs> so now we're just, just taking all just their have. all their food. Okay. <laughs> so to the halfling has the most alcohol. That seems about right. Yeah. Uh, uh, I guess I'll ask the crew and the head lumberjack. Is there anything you need before we leave? We're heading back uh, uh, to town. He, uh, the head lumberjack says, if you have any rations that you can spare, uh, that would be uh, mighty nice. Um, some of us here, uh, know how to hunt, um, if, um, uh, <clears throat> if that thing didn't, like, destroy our bows, uh, I, should be I able offer to my rotten grain. Um, he, he looks at it and says, um, that is, he, thank you, he takes it and he just okay, sort I of put, I he, like, puts it down. I and gag a little bit, say, all right, oh. it's all mine then. So I will give them half of my rations because I planned for triple the trip. So okay. uh, I will go down he to says, uh, oh, thank ten you. That'll, rations. He says, we'll, uh, we'll have to, no pun intended, ration these out a bit. But um, he says, there's, there's about a month's worth of lumber there that we'll start sending down, uh, down river to Asari here. Um <clears throat> I think the biggest thing that you guys uh, could do to help us out would just be um, let let the town know uh, that uh, we're going to need some extra hands. Um, we had to bury about half of our number here, um, <clears throat> so we are we're, we're woefully understaffed. Uh, we'll need uh, a new uh, logging unit and. Um, yeah, uh, uh, if you need a drink, there's uh, some ale in, in the cask. Uh, did you, have you don't need another logging unit. You can't take care of the one you got. Uh, it's a freak accident. It's not there. <laughs> yes, exactly. It doesn't... These... That being said, Fane, uh, we'll, um... you, you have a sending stone. Uh, would you mind giving it to the uh, head logger here? Um, in fact, I'll, I'll even pay you for it. <laughs> Did Vincent Van go on uh, Damu's hand? Fine. Fine. Is oh, th this? Yes. <laughs> no, it's a um, it's a goat. It looks like Vincent Van Gogh for like right. devil horns. Gotcha. <laughs> That's All right. Cool. All right, they can have the sending stone. See, he's also in character because Damu has tattoos. <laughs> Uh, well, yeah. we, well, we'll well, head out here shortly uh, once we get our stuff together, and and we'll let uh, we'll let them know. So, Fane, are you handing over one of those two sending stones to these guys? Do you think that's a good idea? I do. I, I can't answer that question. <laughs> In fact, I will buy the pair of sending stones from you for. 
five gold. <sighs> but they're worth five gold. I don't uh, need your money. You keep your I, money. Well, actually, you know what? I'll take your money. Okay, cool. I I will give you five gold in exchange for the pair of sending stones. I was just going to offer it for free, but I'll take five gold. Ah! I like those kind of deals. You're just like, ha, you fool. <laughs> I'll take your money. <laughs> I wasn't going to judge anything. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't remember the name of the town. Um, Asari. A-S-A-R-I. However, give... I have However... both of them. Yes, I wanted you to give one to them, and I wanted to buy the other one. Oh. So that I would have the pair so that I can give the other two. Asari. Okay, now I see what you're talking about. Yeah. Uh, so we will uh, go back to Asari. We will give another of the Sending Stones to uh, the mayor. So if you do need to get something, you can contact them directly. I do believe his name is Mayor McMuddybottom. Is that, is that what it was? <laughs> yeah, that's what I named him. Then... Mayor McMuddybottom. And I hope I don't get in trouble for this one. <laughs> no, I named him that. <laughs> no, I mean, I hope I don't get in trouble for giving away the stones. Oh, well, I forgot mine. Well, yeah, because so. McMuddybottom gave him one of those stones. <laughs> I'll, yeah. I'll take the heat. I'll take the heat. <laughs> um... All right. Uh, so he says, "Yeah, uh, that awesome. Uh, well, it's a good thing uh, to be able to uh, to contact uh, the town." He says, uh, "We mostly uh, we mostly just you know send messengers back and forth, uh, and uh, you know let's say you know, it's about a week and a half, two weeks walk, uh, depending on conditions and things. So uh, this will be uh, this will be mighty helpful." If you do have another psycho logging machine issue in the mm. future, just use the sending stone and call a code brown and we'll send someone out. For code you. brown. Brown. <laughs> oh, is the code brown for uh, someone who shit themselves? That's, that is definitely a oh shit moment. Yeah. So Thank you. Around here. Thank you for the follow, the grouch couch. <laughs> Hello, grouch couch. <clears throat> grouch couch is cool. All right, uh, Rowan, Reshi, uh, Damu, do you folks need anything here, or are we we good? No, to I've got, I've yeah, got a, fine. I got a skin full of a uh, of the the finest of ales, and uh, I got a nice little buzz from what I could get out of it before I filled up my my, my pack, and I'm ready, I'm ready to go. <laughs> Look, I'm just hanging out with you guys. Look. <laughs> Well, I, I didn't want to take you know too much of a leadership role. I just figured negotiations wise. Dude, I'm I'm here to I'm here to observe. <clears throat> and... I, I want to use their mugs. I want to use their mugs to get my drinks though, while I'm actually uh, here. <clears throat> just like two, you know. So while you guys uh, finish up your discussions in there, and the the head lumberjack kind of talks about. Uh, needing more equipment and food <laughs> um i see damu has climbed up the watchtower here is there anything specific you want to do up there uh you i was have... praying up there Ooh, saying a prayer All right hashtag um, cleric life oh, that's the places i forgot to check oh you're stuff. a cleric huh is there anything specific i am i'm a life cleric you be doing all that weird religious shit. Sure. Bless him, bless him, Janie. Bless him. Sure. Can I? I know can it's I a ask... personal question, Dami, but is there anything specific you're praying about? More arrows. <laughs> <laughs> uh, redemption for my past. Uh, go oh, ahead, man. roll. Um, a one hundred sided die for me. Oh shit, D one hundred. Yeah. 100? Oh, I feel like this is going yeah. too deep. Percentile. Percentile die here. 21 deep is Why are you going to make this, uh, this like religious stuff all serious and pull off a big die? If you don't have a percentile, you could roll 2d10s. Take the first of each. True. But when, you know, rolling on computers, you can just do uh, D100. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, Grouch Couch coming in. Thank you for the biddies. Um... <clears throat> 
You can, uh, since you're new here, you can uh, interact with this stream with channel points as well. Uh, so the longer you watch, uh, the more you can interact with us. <clears throat> you need to do some bitty so you can recoup some of that D. <laughs> <laughs> Roll twenty shit. Um, so with the with the twenty one Damu, as you are praying, um, you don't get any like verbal response or anything like that that you've heard tale of clerics communing with their gods and things. Um, <clears throat> that you know, like some more powerful clerics can uh, uh, do like more reliably uh but you you definitely um you feel a uh, a sort of metaphorical warmth in your soul there there's someone listening there's there's definitely someone listening uh to your your struggles and your um uh what's the word and your your apologies your <clears throat> uh definitely getting some kind of feedback from the divine here <clears throat> uh, I want this to got deep chance to ask if any of the workers have any spare arrows um <clears throat> one of the uh one of the workers uh, says that uh, they can spare an arrow to replace the one that you broke. Yeah, one, one for one, one for one. Praise I'm be. Still, they literally, I'm they, still gonna get it fixed. They literally <laughs> have like no food, so they need all of the arrows they can get to like go hunt deer and shit to like live, to <laughs> literally live. You still have probably at least 19 arrows. If anything, they should be asking you for arrows. Well, all right. So, But they're about... nice people, and they'll give you an arrow. <laughs> what if I take that arrow and I go hunting for them? Or do I not have... I mean, if you want to go hunting, that is something you can do. Though. You... <laughs> We're kind of busy right now, right? I mean, yeah, I think your group is getting ready to head back to Asari, and... I mean, you can stay and hunt all you want. Yeah, man, you, it's you a free country. Out here. <laughs> you can also buy more arrows. Yeah. I just kind of want to go back to town where they can pay me for my time, really. <laughs> right? Right. All right, any last-minute things you guys have to do here? Uh, no, I wonder, I'm good. I take, I I take one of my rations, and I place it on the table. Just one? Just one, man. I need one. I want to watch this. Let's see what happens. Uh, Fane, uh, uh, <laughs> the Grouch Couch is redeeming Bardic Inspiration for Fane. Because he's got a nice hat. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm wearing this thing from now on. I'm wearing this thing from now on. Which one is that? Let's see. What is, in this situation, what does that do for we're all wearing poo pads. Um, so, Bardic Inspiration... <laughs> Um, I'm pretty sure lasts until he uses it. So if there's ever a check that he thinks he needs to do better on before I say if it fails or succeeds, uh, he can choose to add that uh, to a d20 roll. Hmm. I'm wearing this hat when I stream now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go buy one tomorrow. Oh, man. Screw you guys, I'm getting corn hat. I think we need some <laughs> uh, grouch catch. I think we need some uh, um, clarification. Are you talking about Flav's hat that he's wearing in real life, or are you talking about the hat his character is wearing? <laughs> They're both Cause, pretty dope. Because he might need to get a pilgrim hat with a feather in it if it's the one that's on his character. <laughs> Um, but yeah, any last minute things you guys need to do before we, uh, see how your trip back to us, sorry. So yeah, out. the rations. Are they good? Um, uh, yeah, he gave him a couple of days worth of rations. Um, plus, uh, they, they got some skilled hunters. So, you know, if there's ever a day that they don't, like, hunt or find food, 
Um, they should. Uh, they should. They'll. They'll. They get a little. Some... All right. So they got a little food. All right. Yeah. All right. I would also like Pray to inform. Be to Jimmy Brown. <laughs> <laughs> I would also oh, like to inform them that. Uh, the the hole right there that might be missing a body the body is down at the other side of the cave what, what? the guy the, the guy we found the that guy. had the note and everything he's just trying to let him know oh. that the body's out there for them to retrieve oh. right 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 i got you i see what you're talking about fane i got you Right, got it. Gotcha. I'm being super nice here and not stealing anything. Well, I mean, no, no, yeah, I I'm just, keeping everything I picked up. Fuck that guy, he's dead. <laughs> just... That is a character improvement for you. Yeah, yes. I'm sorry, I was taken aback. I didn't know what to do with this altruism streak. <laughs> the sudden, I'm a the nice sudden guy. Changes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they, uh, the they, they, you they, were rolling sleight of hand checks with no one else in the building to try to steal shit from other fucking peasants' beds. They, uh, they, they say, uh, uh, thank you, uh, for letting us know. We thought, uh, we thought he would have escaped and um got into town uh to let them know what was happening but uh unfortunately his wounds were a little too severe indeed well um if you're heading that way um we'll send uh, a couple of people with you uh to collect the body uh if you don't mind uh just keeping a lookout for them until you uh until you reach uh, the waterfalls. We, uh, we don't uh, we don't expect you an escort back or anything like that. But just you know, protection for at least half the trip would be. be Is nice. it the attractive cloaked women? It's uh, fine. Yeah, the attractive cloaked women are just the generic uh, commoner. Uh, oh, I, token. Got, I ain't got no time. I ain't got no time. Oh for this no, one. Let's, they're let's, muscly let's lumberjacks. Yeah, they're they're, they're just lumberjack. yeah. That's let's just get the. Back to the town then. I got no time for this. We need to. Get if yeah. only Brock was here. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's time to go get that, that, let's go talk to the man. You know what? Just just because uh, they are women tokens, let's just say they're muscle bound like Amazonian women. All right, all right lumber, we're moving this more towards lumber the Jane's. Okay. Lumber Jane's. Lumber Jane's. Right. Lumber Jane's. Right. Okay. Big cute kitty. I don't know if big, anyone saw kitty. the dumb who had. Yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah, it's big like cat. So huge. Let's go, girls. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Um. So you guys, uh, oh God, take two of the monsters. lumber janes. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna do. He just comes right out with it. <laughs> the fuck do you, fucking Joe Exotic over here? It's like a panther. Jesus Christ! I right, grab a. Get my, get my die here, and I'm gonna make some secret rolls. How much, how much does that chungus weigh? All right. So that was. The... I have no idea. <laughs> All right. Cool. Less than a fifty oh. pound weight, but not not much. <laughs> he's bigger than your you guys. He's bigger than your upper body. <laughs> I'm distracted by the cat. I'm sorry. I'm it's sorry. So cute. I, I'm sorry, dude. He's just it's a hey. big ass cat. <laughs> he's a good boy. What do you feed him? Because I want to feed my cat that. Uh, <laughs> the corpses of his enemies. I'm guessing. <laughs> I'm serious. My cat's <laughs> tiny, and I feed her all the time. <laughs> Human he, he prefers wet food, and we I don't normally go for any specific brand. It's pretty much what I can afford. Jeez, that cat's cute. All right. Uh, you guys make it back uh, to the waterfall. Um, you had to travel a little bit longer um, than you normally would. Uh, it takes roughly a full day's worth of travel to get from here to the lumber mill. Uh, so it's well after dark uh, that you that you've gotten here. Um, the uh, the lumberjanes uh, say they are going to um, make camp um, at the top of the stairs uh, at the top of the waterfall because you know down on the bridge it's you know wet and cold. Wet. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, if you guys want to continue on, that's fine. If you want to make camp for the night here. Uh, we can uh, take a long rest. Otherwise, uh, just let me know what you guys are doing. 
Is uh, is anybody beat up real bad? No, I'm healed up. Okay, yeah, I think good. everyone's healed up. Okay. Does all everybody right. still have all their their spells? Uh, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm still I'm loading on my uh. I think the only person who used a spell it's, was it's Sam. Yeah, Sam. I used uh, I used Witch Bolt, but I got a short rest while we were sitting yeah. there waiting, so I'm good. Yeah, Sam Gretty okay. is playing a Warlock, and Warlocks would charge on a short rest, which is awesome. I always cool. cast my spells at the maximum level, but I only get like two slots. Yeah. <laughs> can can clerics charge on a short rest? No. I, think I am right. down by one spell slot. Oh. Oh, that's right. right. Well, casted, let's, like, cure wounds well, I figured like we'd that. probably, I mean, I don't think night travel is the best. You folks want to camp uh, up? Yeah. Really, if uh, you, also, up. if you don't take a long rest, um, I'll have you guys make constitution saves. Uh, if you pass the constitution save, uh, you're good to keep traveling without exhaustion. If you fail it, you will take one level of exhaustion every 24 hours, kind of check thing and the check gets harder every time do i need to use my song arrest right now no i, I think everybody's no. good right yeah everybody's fine right. okay cool we're pretty toasty let's, i think um, we should take a nap all right let's spend some time and uh give rowan a chance at the lumber chains <laughs> i mean yeah i don't know a character he would have gotten along with <laughs> <laughs> damn so you guys, you guys hunker down for the night. Um, the lumberjanes, uh, you know, have a tent. They they set up their tent. They get a fire going. Um, I'm pitching a tent too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> very nice, very nice. <laughs> Dick jokes. The uh, the ever charming. <laughs> We're gonna do that. The ever charming Rowan charms a lumberjane. Um, let's see here. You know, I'm looking at uh, I'm looking at your inventory, Rowan. You don't have a tent. You just have a you just have a sleeping bag. You but oh, you don't. That's look look. <laughs> Is that another dick joke? Fortune, fortune favors the bold. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, hey hold on. I think he should have to make a performance one. check at that. <laughs> uh, I have yeah. no tent. I I think. <laughs> I think it does warrant a performance check. <laughs> Roll it. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to message Kelly and apologize. Oh, the first time I haven't been lucky this whole time. <laughs> um, if anybody is, is uh, still up at like 2 a.m., you see uh, a rather embarrassed Rowan stumbling out of a tent. <laughs> Holding his pants close to his body. <laughs> I'm gonna. Then, uh, then the then you see the the flaps oh, no. of the lumberjanes tent come come they pull him close real quick and tie him up. Yeah, I can't see shit. <laughs> yeah, you're probably asleep. Uh, other than uh, you know, a rather embarrassing moment. For Rowan, I would say, you were... like, as far as we know, then look, man, it happens. All right, him and that's it. Like, we could just look. assume it went well, I guess. <laughs> look, 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 you, look, you gotta, you, you, you miss a hundred percent of the chances, you know, or the shots you don't take, right? Right, exactly. Wayne you... Gretzky, can I attempt to uh, see now? Can I attempt to go for the other lumberjane? Uh, yeah, if you want. <laughs> Yeah, I'll be right back. Uh, I'll give it a shot. I would like to wake up and um, help him. <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> I, no, I, I, I'm, I'm going to give you advantage. Yeah, well, I got a 19 because I <laughs> got a plus six to persuasion, so I, I feel pretty comfortable. I got a 22 on persuasion. I'm going to jump in there with you. Uh, <laughs> all right, that's kind of weird, but... I don't think that's how this works. I didn't ask you for a <laughs> roll. <laughs> yeah, I don't... <laughs> Fine. I didn't I realize me striking out was just suddenly everyone was gonna whip it out and run towards the tent. <laughs> I was I was waiting for you to to pick your your bride there, so this, that's this all. Gag, this gag escalated. Don't have a whip yeah, this this so. gag did escalate pretty quickly. Apparently, uh, the lumberjanes prefer the company of the the the, the rather uh, beautiful sift. <laughs> And uh, not the beautiful Rowan. 
It is what it is. Look, I can't. I can't. Yeah. This being said, I can't assume please the everyone, only person right? who is even seen or aware of this would be Rowan. Has he done Probably. a performance check yes. yet? Uh, yeah, he did. He rolls in his little. He rolls in his roll box. Oh yeah. You got an idea. Oh, I know. I haven't done a performance check. I just did a persuasion check. Um... Let's get that performance check. Yeah, let's, want, let's, you... do, let's do that. Yeah, let's do the performance check. Okay, what's my bonus on performance? Uh, plus four in performance. I love them high charisma. Fifteen. Fifteen. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently, you got something Rowan doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe he's got something you don't, and that's what happened. Well, you certainly have it now if he does. <laughs> or, you know, you're also a changeling, so maybe you have both, and that's what it was. We, we won't talk about the event. It's just uh, she yeah. didn't want to sleep outside and had convinced the... Uh, Shit happened. <laughs> exactly. Fade, that L cut, you know, fade through black. It's now the morning time. The Lumberjanes uh, collect the the body of uh, the uh, the messenger who uh, was murdered when he tried to see what was going on outside uh, the um, <clears throat> outside the lumber mill. They uh, they say that uh, they'll put him to rest and you know make sure that uh, he is uh, he is remembered. <clears throat> Um, and, uh, you guys part ways and make it back, uh, to the town of Asari after a couple more days travel. It's probably two, two or so days, two and a half days, uh, back to town. <laughs> um, when you guys get back, uh, it is probably right before noon, um, as you uh, come into town through uh, the west gate, right past the Silver Serpent, uh, you can see outside, um, you know, you look over here on the map, um, there's sort of like this uh, uh, brown sort of patch of earth, kind of dirt spot over here next to the Silver Serpent. Uh, you guys, um, you see Garth, uh, the brewmaster, uh, Garth Gutblaster, uh, husband of Maya Fenerel, the uh, the elven uh, innkeep. Uh, you see the the dwarven uh, Garth there, uh, roasting a hog on a spit. You know, like uh, Hawaiian style. You know, apple in the mouth, just you know, slow rotisserie style roasting uh, this this hog. On a on a bonfire, you can smell the the pork cooking as you come into town. Uh, so you know lunch is about ready to be served at the tavern. Um, there are you know, people coming in, coming out of town. Uh, friendly faces greeting you guys as you come back uh, to Asari. Uh, people are starting to know you guys around here. Um, obviously, new guys? Uh, obviously, you know Falarian, the blacksmith, and Vestan, uh, the, the tanner. Um, we met, uh, I think I mentioned Jethro Gorkat last session. He is the, uh, dock master. I'll show you a picture of him. Uh, he's a rather large fellow, burly gentleman from lifting weights and stuff all day long. Um, you said he dark kinda, master. Uh, so is he, is he right there next to us? Uh, um, yeah, he's hanging outside the tavern. He's getting some food. Um, the, uh, the ship, uh, that you all came in on is still in port. You guys have only been gone for, uh, less than a week. Um, but you see they're loading, uh, crates and stuff onto the ship. Uh, so, uh, you can assume that that ship is heading out of port probably here in a couple of hours. Any new ship? <laughs> Any new ships? Yeah. No, no. This is just a Damn. one ship. Port. I mean, that means don't sneak on the ship and start trying to steal shit. <laughs> uh, well. Um, I mean, I was hoping my dogs would have got here. Like you know, we planned on. Mm -hmm. Uh, that is true, but this ship has not left yet. It took a lot less time to do what 
you did than what you guys thought it was going to take. I would uh, like to address the whole party before we continue here. Uh, about uh, uh, the, the future, I have a need to go back to uh, Asari for a day or two. There's somebody I'm, I'm looking for. I was wondering if you folks would like to accompany me. Um, I, I felt we worked pretty well together. I would definitely accompany you to that journey. Sounds good to me. Can we wait for my dogs? I got nowhere else to go. Well, I was just thinking we'd go pick up your dogs. It is true. The dogs would be coming from uh, Reneus Alinar. Are they ready now? They they are technically not ready because the messenger that was going to go get them has not left Asari yet. So I could get my money back and... Uh... I mean, we could go obtain your dogs and, and come back. I just, uh, I need to stop by and find a particular person. So, and that, uh, I'm, I, I'm okay with that. And I can just go pick up my dogs from Asari instead of having paid for them from here. I can get my money back. Um, yeah, I mean, you could get your money back from the, the messenger. And that way the messenger wouldn't have to leave and then you could just go buy the dogs in person. That was what twenty five each. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I believe that's that's correct. All right, there we go. I'll just do that, and we'll just assume that I did that. Or we'll Rowan, would you that. would you like to go to Asari with us? Let's do it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm not sure I can go to Asari. Aren't we in Asari? Uh, you're in us. This is Asari. The town so, across uh, the Celestine Renea Bay Sorry, is I... Renea Salinar. I'm not sure I'm supposed to be going to Renea Salinar. <laughs> well, it's a... Listen, I'm... if you don't get spotted, no one will know the difference. <laughs> no, all my sneak... well, actually, yeah, all my sneak pick jokes passed to this. So, yeah. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. I thought we were going to... We're in Asari. We, we're going to Renea... Uh, yeah. Alinar, yeah. Uh, <laughs> just I got the bay. Yeah, we'll I know. Back. I know where it's at. Um, <laughs> I, I. All right, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I maybe. Um, I have some people there who aren't big fans of mine. And I'm not are they part of? sure how I feel about going back there. Well, tell me more. Maybe I know them. Um, it's a. V it, it, I maybe skipped out on some shows. <laughs> I have, You're very bad at yeah. your job. No, okay. there's definitely that same vibe for me right at this moment. Uh, I. Okay. Um, we don't we don't have to go. I can I can send a letter. We'll, we'll... Yeah, let's do that. Cause I totally am not. E e no, thank you. In that case, I'm going to give my money back to that person so I can have my dogs. Would you folks accompany me to the, the mayor's? We can uh, negotiate payment for what we've done. Yes, that I can do. Uh, I'd like to take this chance to ask while we're walking. If any mischief is going on, so maybe I can take advantage of it at a later point. Mischief you... of what variety? Yeah. <laughs> like, all right. So potentially any, um, what was that? Uh, any, uh, organizational kind of mischief. Or otherwise. Any, any sleight of hand in the bedroom. I was going to say, like you... Criminal mischief, I guess? Uh, you used your powers of investigation last week uh, here in Asari to... You learned that there is no, like, black market here. There is no uh, thieves' guild or anything operating out of Asari. Um, and I do remember the... we talked in the week that if you were wanting to maybe start something like that, that is something you could do. So but there I'd is like nothing think... like that here right now. You're going to have to take effort. You have to put in effort and take steps to make that happen. 
Well, as we come in, I want to gender at the fields to see if the mischief that was being caused there has doubled or not. Okay. And that's it. That's it. Uh, make an investigation roll to see. Uh, you talk or talk to some people around town, kind of get the get the word on the street about what's going on out there. Uh, in the <laughs> in the farming. <laughs> World's mm. worst investigator. Hey, wait. Beef, a... beef. Well, no, you automatically fail with the one. Never mind. I was going to say you do have bardic inspiration. That ain't going to do any good when you crit. Um, you, uh, you, talk, um, you talk to some people who are, like, clearly in the middle of their work day. And they're just like, I don't, I don't know. Like, why are you asking? Uh, like, go talk to the farmers if you want to know that. <laughs> uh, you don't get any helpful information uh about that currently uh but just to recap since we are talking about that stuff uh there there have been some strange goings on with scarecrows in the uh the fields outside of asari and there's still the goblin threat to the east um that uh the party was originally looking into uh reshi and damu i don't i'm not gonna you know say that you're characters care about that but you might care about that <laughs> uh just to kind of recap the things that are happening or have uh have been happening in a sorry um other than that um what are you guys doing as you get into town um you still haven't reported back to the mayor about the situation at the logging we mill. need to clear that out first and guys. uh so um, yeah. That's what I'm working on. Uh, Reshi, do you have any particular tasks in town that you'd like to do before? No, um, I have to deal with a tiny um, dwarf right now, and I <laughs> probably have to go for the night. But it's really fun. <laughs> the next not Brock, is it? No, it's Vincent. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, different great. dwarf. Hi, Vincent. Very, uh, very persistent. Um, all right. Well, uh, the only thing I had planned was to write a letter and. Uh, get our payment for that so all right. i will leave my i will leave my cam up you guys okay. it was a blast <laughs> right, till thank, next time thank you very much uh we'll just uh Bye. probably Bye. turn in this quest and then uh, we'll shut down the stream for the night as well it, like if, a if, blast. You consider, if you consider the electrification it really was a blast <laughs> <laughs> it really was <laughs> y'all have fun all right i expected our bard to make the joke <laughs> Tapped out of penis jokes. Are you tapped out? I don't know. I'm I'm having a hard time coming up with any more of them. Especially since he was unlucky at getting satisfied. You never know, man. Sometimes, <laughs> maybe later on in this campaign, I might rise to the occasion. Yeah, I'll probably see Brock somewhere. I'm just going to whisper into Rowan's ear. She didn't shave. Oh, uh, well, all right. Depends on where. All right, let's go to the mayor's house. Let's get this let's get this turned in. You were thinking way dirtier than I was on that. I was thinking like legs. Like, she was a very bushy woman. She's a lumberjack. Lumber Jill. Lumber Jill, as I was. I thought it was Jane. I thought Folsom named her Jane. It, they, it, Lumber Jane. It, Jill and Jane. Anyway. anyway, so you had two. <laughs> Where's our I, DM? I I don't know how to process what's going on right now. <laughs> Where's the mayor's house? Uh, the mayor's up, house? up in the uh, upper right hand corner of the map is the little house in the yellow trees, thicket of yellow trees. Um, you guys head over there uh, to the mayor's house. You talk to. Mayor McMuddy Bottom. <laughs> um, <laughs> he, uh, I'm going to sniff the air first. Uh, you smell uh, fresh baking uh, cookies and bread. I'm going to ask for one. Um, he says, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, uh, as soon, soon as they're done, um, everybody can have a cookie. Um, how did how did things go? Uh, how how did it go? Uh, 
out there in uh, the lumber mill. Um, is everything all right? Uh, I hope everything is okay. Um, <clears throat> uh, did you get things sorted out? Is uh, or, or is it a much larger problem than what we uh, can handle? We got it. <laughs> ah, there was a so bit of a malfunction. Um, the, uh, malfunction. the logging unit uh, kind of more or less gained sentience. A very odd situation. Uh, uh, here is your your sending zone back. I gave it to the uh, the other one. It's with the uh, logging camp supervisor. So. Oh oh, so you um, uh, you 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 met Daryl? Uh, is he is he okay? Uh, we sent him out there uh, a couple of weeks back to talk to them, but he never reported in. That's not the guy we're talking about. That guy, I have his eyeball somewhere. Hold on. He what? You have his eyeball? He's a very, very strange halfling. What? Wait, how did you come across his eyeball? I'm going eyeball? to show him. I'm going to show him the eyeball, but I'm not giving it to him. You what? No, what? I don't need to a... see. What is going on? Uh, I'm going to put it back what? in the how, how did you get Daryl's eyeball? What is yeah. What is this? Un unfortunately, uh, Daryl passed away before we could uh, assist him. Oh, he God, was Darryl. at the water well. Um, he has been uh, returned to the log camp for proper burial. This is the only eyeball I could get to. I don't. It, that is very unsettling and morose and macabre. I don't. I mean, we didn't. Why? We didn't do it though. Would we didn't you, do it though. Would you? I no. He. The, our de our town detective back. took an eye from a dead man. Why? I have to investigate. I, I don't claim to understand or know how you do your investigative duties. If an eyeball somehow helps you with that, I don't want to know about it. He's still getting paid, right? Oh, no. I got nothing. Please put the eye away. Please put the. I, I already really put the eye away. Don't. People. It makes CSI you. CSI have one. Ugh. I got nothing for this. Oh. He kind of bends over, puts his hands on his knees. He's like, oh, I don't need to see eyeballs outside of people's heads. Anyway, uh, where's my, um, where's you, my pension? You're, hey, are you retiring? Oh, wait, uh, uh, <laughs> what is, I, I need my stipend, whatever. Yes, uh, yes, um, <laughs> your, your payment, uh, so. Uh, we'll, we'll get to that. I need. I still don't have a full idea. Daryl died. <laughs> you took his <laughs> eyeball. Then what? I is a rope? A, a, you said the logging unit came to life. What? <laughs> yes. Uh, there. So there was a storm. Uh, lightning struck the core of the logging unit. It uh, actually enslaved some of the camp workers. Killed half of them. Very long story. Very <gasps> gruesome. Uh, but everything's fine up there now. They do need a new logging unit, and they had about a month of logs that will be sent down here shortly. And then, and they need food too. Yes, uh, I gave them some of my really productive <laughs> while the robot was in charge. Right, 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 right. right it's right. not a great situation. They definitely. Uh, need the oh, they're also my. missing horses. Oh my. Okay. Okay. Um. Yes. Yes. We will get on re resupplying them. I will have to talk to 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 our, our engineers, see if they can get another logging unit, and if there's a way to protect against this happening again. Uh, um, as a point of reference, uh, the previous logging unit is still there, mostly intact. I had to disable it. Ah, um, maybe and, that and... bit. And I do believe that the rest of the people there have eyes intact, both of them. Well, that, that's good news. Yes, eyes too in the head is what we want. I, um, right. But, uh, but they might need some baby food at some point. Who knows? Okay, so, yes, um, they need, they need resupplies of food. 
They need horses. They need. Uh, it's probably best for you to communicate them directly. I suggest using the stone. Oh, right, 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 right. He'll, he'll, he takes the stone from you. Um, he says, um, yes, I'll get a, a full report, uh, from, from the head lumber's, uh, lumber, uh, lumberjacks there, and, and, um, you all, you all need your payment. Um, he says, yes, um, uh, one moment, uh, wait, right, right here. Um, he, uh, he calls out, he says, Phyllis! Uh, we have some guests. Uh, if you if you could uh, bring them some cookies, uh, I I need to head to my office real I quick. I like cookies. Uh, he you hear him. Uh, he leaves the room. I hear he, you hear like some footsteps on some stairs. Um, uh, a, a doddering old woman comes in. Um, <laughs> uh, I should mention, uh, Mayor McMuddy Pants. He's you know probably in his seventies. Um, so a little old lady, gray hair, uh, little, you no know, crescent, uh, half moon glasses, you know, on the tip of her nose, comes in, and she's like, oh, hey, hello, how's, how are things, it is a fresh bake, they're still hot, you know, be careful, um, <clears throat> if, uh, but if, if anybody wants some cookies, here you go, uh, if anybody, uh, wants, uh, wants some tea, uh, I can, I can put on a pot, um, Rowan, would you like some tea? I'm gonna use my powers of investigation. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta what? take it easy on my voice. I want to use my powers of investigation to pick out the best cookie. Um. Okay. Uh, it's pretty easy. So the fourteen. Uh, you get what your definition of the best cookie <laughs> is out of that. Uh, I don't know if it is perfectly proportionate. You know chips of chocolate in the dough if it is a certain type of crispy to soft ratio i don't know uh but uh 14 i think fine enough you get uh you get your whatever one you think is best out of that batch of cookies um a few minutes go by you uh the um uh the the wife brings in the tea uh, and as you are all enjoying uh, some tea and cookies, uh, Mayor McMuddy Bottom comes back in uh, with five coin purses. Um, yeah. He says, I would uh, like to... at the rate you guys are going, uh, picking out, up all of the leads and taking care of all of our problems, um, I'm going to have to maybe ask you for a loan because we are we're starting to run low on coin here. <laughs> uh, but yes, um, here for you, uh, each is uh, 50 gold pieces uh, in payment uh, for dealing with this. Um, I hope uh, uh, as, I, as when I was upstairs getting the money, I talked to the, uh, the lumber mill. Uh, they are sending us some uh, some lumber. We are going to be able to finish the walls, hopefully, uh, or at least you know start building the walls, which is very very good, uh, very good. Uh, some of our um, militia, uh, while you are away, um, no 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 uh, ill events, uh, but uh, they they have um, they have gone out to the uh, that keep that ruin um, that you all came across. Uh, earlier uh in in your stay here uh and apparently um they uh, there are signs that the goblins are still using it um well, which shit. is concerning because that is only a two days hike uh from here uh, so if they are still using that that means um you know we we could see them attacking uh, the town proper, but hopefully, uh, now that the lumber mill's up and running, we'll be able to get walls, uh, situated, uh, on this side of town, uh, preferably, you know, around my, uh, house, yeah, <laughs> and, um, uh, yes, uh, but, uh, but, but, yes, uh, in investigator Fane, um, uh, I've been told uh, you've been asking around uh, t town about the uh, the problems in the, the farmlands. Uh, that is uh, also an avenue of things that, uh, that we need taken care of here. Um, 
but uh, but yes, you are all doing very good work. Uh, very good work. Also, I, I almost forgot to mention, because there's so much going on in this town. Uh, we came to a decision. I think it is a good idea to align ourselves with the lizard folk. Um, <clears throat> we, uh, we were able to discuss it amongst ourselves, and we think, uh, from everything you told us, um, culturally, if they are trustworthy... Discuss they discuss it with the lizard folk? Uh, no, that, uh, that is actually what I was going to ask of That's you. probably my job. Um, okay. So... Uh, if Is I remember not? correctly, it was uh, the two of you, Damu and Reshi, who talked to the lizard folk um, and uh, got uh, uh, the offer of an alliance with them. Um, so I think it would be a good idea for the, for at least the two of you to go talk to them. Um, probably your whole group, but that is you know not not my place to decide. Um, and let them know that uh, we are indeed in favor of an alliance. Uh, Do they require the uh, uh, town inquisitor to go? Like I said, that is between the group. Um, we'll and probably that. go as a, as a crew here shortly. <laughs> uh, I actually uh, would be willing to accept half payment for myself if uh, I can get some information and a favor from you. Um, I'm not going to say yes until I know what the favor is, but possibly. Uh, I'm in need of, a a paladin or something unique. Oh, okay. Uh, and, uh, through my normal channels, I don't really speak with them. So okay. So, you let the word out. Uh, I need a, uh, paladin. fairly strong paladin. Uh, a very strong and I'm willing to exchange a favor for a favor. Exchange a favor for a favor. Okay. Nothing um, absurd or dangerous or anything like that. It's just uh, it's there, I a mean, favor. Okay. Um, as I'm <laughs> sure any paladin that I'm able to contact is going to wonder what uh, you need their services for. Also... Uh, so I can find a paladin that is able to... What What do you need a paladin for? <laughs> <laughs> is there, like, well, a, a vendetta against a, you no, know, no, a, a culture so that you need Something. taken care of? Or? You see, I, um, I know quite a lot of these paladins have skills at writing, <laughs> and uh, I've been improving mine as of late. Mm -hmm. I know of a particular bit of arcane mastery that uh, I can't perform myself and would like them to seal into a scroll for me for uh, experiments. Oh, right. Um, he, uh, he, he thinks a moment. Uh, he says, I, um... I, I can ask about um, magic having to do with writing, I suppose. Um, it, is, uh, it is hard to be a knight without a horse. Um, so, yes. Um, I will ask about horse-based magic. Right. No, it's, it's a rather odd request, but I figured it was I... worth asking someone who well, might be able know, to find I... someone who could fulfill it. Um, I am not overly religious myself. <clears throat> um, I don't know many paladins, but uh, I am the mayor of a town, and I might be able to put a feeler out for you. Um, Thank you. He says, uh, I, I suppose... Uh, well, I, I, I suppose the, the paladin will know what I'm asking for, hopefully, when I ask for it. Because I don't, if I'm honest, don't know anything about horse-based magic. <laughs> but uh, if it is your wish to more... be turned into a horse, then I suppose that uh, I mean. I no, uh, no, that's not. Wait a minute. Uh, uh, there's a 
the arcane mastery I'm speaking of is, is Find Steed. It's a very unique spell, Finding a Fey to your service. Oh. Oh! Well, that's very interesting. I always thought they just bought horses and rode them, but... Interesting. So they can summon... Well, that makes... Well... That makes some sense. It's a fairly <laughs> difficult task, so... We do need someone oh, with well. significant strength. Okay. I, uh, do they have to be an arcane paladin? Does a, uh, would, a, would a divine paladin work? Because they are much greater in numbers in these parts, but I suppose I could look for an arcane-based paladin. You know, to be honest, I don't, I don't know. I, not much of that world. Right, okay. Well, any paladin who can summon horses. Right. Yes. Uh, yes, uh, I, I can do that, um, if you, if you wish, uh, I can, I'll take, uh, I'll use that, uh, money to see if I can't acquire, a uh, Paladin's service for you. Thank you. <clears throat> All right, well, uh, there is much to do and not much time to do it in, so if, uh, you will excuse me, uh, I have mayoring to do. Uh, feel Hi, free, Mayor. <laughs> feel free to take uh, some cookies for the road. Um, Bye. And uh, uh, Thane, report back to me if you decide to investigate that uh, the Scarecrow thing. Otherwise, uh, the rest of you, um, I uh, I hope uh, I hope you have safe travels. And uh, after I, or before, oh, I await the results of the, the the parlay with the lizard folk. Is there is there an inn? Is there an inn in town? Uh, the yeah, Silver the Serpent. Serpent Tavern, tavern? Uh, over there by the docks. Is All a, right, is I want to go to the tavern now. It's after? literally where we met. So report to him after or before I choose to. Shoot, choose or, to before or after I do it. A after <laughs> you said if if I choose to. Yeah, he's in... the, the wording was a little weird. He wants to report if you. If you choose to go do the, because that he does, you were talking about. Do I have to go with them to go to the lizard people? He doesn't know what you're gonna do, so he says if you choose to go investigate the scarecrow people right now, he wants you to report back to him when you're done with that. Okay. What time is it in game? Um, Lunch walking across town doesn't take that long. That conversation took us. Like, 15 minutes. So, yeah, it's probably in the middle of the lunch rush right now. Okay. All right. Uh, how about experience? Uh, for experience, this will be easy because you only fought one thing. As long as I remembered to put a, an amount of uh, an XP on this thing's character sheet because I created this monster. <laughs> uh, I did, indeed. Um, how many of you are there? Five. 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 Does finishing low get any bonus? Uh. You, uh. Rowan. Indeed. Yo. Well, I think any bonus XP you get would be offset by the fact a guy died in the process. Yeah. Who died? Uh, the messenger. Daryl? The messenger? He's already dead. We didn't have anything to do with that. Uh, he <laughs> died after you guys learned about this issue, though. Oh. He, if you guys had left from town immediately, like, instead of going to do the goblin stuff first, if you had done this first, he still would have been alive. But that wouldn't have been part of Fane's adventure, though. I mean, that's true. It's not the, but it really doesn't that. matter, because Fane joined the group. Yep. Dead anyway. He's everybody. He's uh, dead anyway. <laughs> uh, you all, you each receive two hundred and twenty experience. For Very nice. Killing that giant put that robot in guy. Uh, so at the top of your character sheet, um, in the box there that has like your class and your background and all that stuff. Uh, you uh, will be able to just add it to your uh, experience okay. points total. How much do you say we got? Uh, 220. So I think you started out with 
220. You started out, I believe, with 900 coming in at level 3 on the dot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, So 220, you should have 1120, I believe. I got this. I do maths. How much? I'll have to remind Rachel to level up her character. Yeah, she will be at fifteen fifteen for her experience for the adventure. Oh no, wait, she was mm -hmm. missing that adventure. Never mind. Yeah, you've been here for every adventure. You're. See, that's what I ended up with. But I think that whenever I made this character, I just transferred over my experience points, and I think maybe I wasn't supposed to do that. Did I? Oh, right, no. She missed an adventure. That's right. You you guys so who made new characters as... should have the yeah. same. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. 1550, so... that's right. My bad, y'all. Yeah. Play me a dirge, Rowan. So which one is it? Do we, do we what keep it? What am I doing? Yeah, 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 yeah. I was wrong. I was wrong. You get 220 experience. You should have 1550. Am I singing a song? I assume you and I are drinking in the pub. If that's... What you doing? I don't know. Can I take this chance to do some more investigation around town? Uh, yeah. While Genie sings us a song, you can roll another invest, one last investigation check, and then we'll Ooh, wrap up the session. I'm fucking exhausted, <laughs> and I'm ready to go on a long rest after getting hit by the door by the robot. And then we hit the rope on with Lydon. And then we freed all of the slaves. But they were really slaves, they were number Jews. And then I got all the booze. And then I tried to sleep with all the number Jews. But they didn't want any of Rowan. And then we came back to the town to talk to the mayor. And now we're drinking booze. I don't know what this world's equivalent to a platinum record is, but platinum record material. There you go. <laughs> uh, there are some very stunned uh, patron at uh, patrons at the the tavern who this witness the we... this display, uh, and you are uh, you are showered with. 13 copper pieces for your performance. Yes. Yes. Is this the it's a very poor sound. To see if we are stunned or not. You would. No. No. This is this is where you make intelligence save where you take psychic damage. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, you're you're all good. Uh, again, Flav, your your six investigation roll not uh finding anything out that you haven't already found out you know uh, what you know what i'm gonna reroll that i want to reroll that uh <sighs> you can't but okay <laughs> lucky i can't you can use lucky one of the sport telling numbers i mean you could yeah that's true you could use lucky that's that's true i thought you meant you wanted to like continue because i'm gonna get it back anyways right because we're resting here that yeah yeah, I mean, yeah I mean, probably yeah Fire Let, let's see Oops, wrong thing wrong thing wrong thing that's intelligence save uh investigation 20. 20 and this time i want to ask it down by the church thing back here that is a lighthouse uh wow. okay hold on wherever the church place it was it literally right says temple on the map right there buddy no it doesn't it does not say temple for me right there wait no i see it my bad right there okay yeah i'm gonna go there and do it why are you anyway ladies and gentlemen temple? i need to roll out <laughs> right. See you, saying so, we're uh, we're gonna uh, we're gonna wrap up the stream here anyway. Um, you uh, with your twenty, you talk to the temple. Um, you uh, you find some rumors. Uh, there was like an injured guy who came in here, claiming that he was attacked by a scarecrow out in the fields. <sighs> um, no one believes him though. But after the whole shenanigans that you guys just came from with the inanimate object coming to life, maybe there's more to this guy's story than originally, uh, uh, you know, the people in the, t the temple would have thought. Um, I wouldn't believe him. Or is it? It's probably you. I'm not a scarecrow. Uh, no, he's not I'm a scarecrow. I'm a beautiful half-elf bard. 
but the guy that got attacked by the scarecrow. <laughs> no, no, no. It wasn't it wasn't so, genie. It was a it was a farmer. Um, okay, so the uh, so I need to go up here. There was um I thought we had the name of a uh there was like a priestess there. Um I'm currently blanking on her name. Uh, but you, uh, you can, you talk to Layla, uh, Tactical's former character. She's, uh, working as an acolyte at the church right now. Um, and, uh, they're like, yeah, we don't, um, attacked by a scarecrow. We figured it, he was just embarrassed or something. Um, Heidi is the priestess's name, by the way. Um, uh, you know, he Heidi and myself, we patched him up, you know, did the best we could um sent him back to the farm uh we just figured the story was you know just t trying to save face you know just a workplace accident and uh, he was embarrassed or or whatever but um uh, yeah you know he's he's at the northern uh uh the northeasternmost farm out there um do we, if you want to do we have enough time i could grab these two people and take them with me um, well, we can, uh, discuss that at the start of next session. Yeah, we're gonna what? wrap up here. <sighs> yeah, don't forget to wrap up. <laughs> uh, it is midnight. Uh, we Genie do only play for, for three. We've lost two of our players here because we've been going a little longer than planned. Um, <clears throat> uh, but yeah, that'll be something. You guys have Discord. <laughs> uh, you can talk to each other. Uh, during the week about what you want to do. Uh, currently, uh, where we're going to leave this scene, uh, you have the rest of the afternoon in town. Uh, you guys make a long rest. So we'll, next session, next Saturday, uh, we will come back at uh, the morning of the next day. Uh, I'm going to have to break out my calendar here so we can t keep a bit better track of time. Uh, but... Uh, but yeah, so it'll be the next day when we come back. You guys have all afternoon. So this next week, if there's anything you want to do in your afternoon, I gotta, I gotta buy like, some supplies. like, yeah, buy supplies, talk to people about if you're going to go talk to the lizard folk immediately, or if you want to investigate the farms next, uh, you know, do all that kind of stuff. Talk to each other outside of game, coordinate, you know, that's good habits to get into uh when uh i'm playing a team based game like D, D. uh but uh for now uh we're gonna close up shop i know sangretti is not here to say it but if anybody uh in the chat wants to follow at sangretti he plays movies on his channel on mondays uh that you guys can hang out in his channel and watch uh i get you genie bra let us know what you do in your life outside of game genie bra watches he doesn't watch anything he plays video <laughs> games he jokes about it so not all right. he, um i do design stuff um obviously you see me dressing up in this beautiful this beautiful attire um we do a lot of random shit. you guys you know I, i'm i'm a goofball uh, it's uh, it is genie bra one word twitch.tv forward slash genie bra or genie bra on twitter if you if you need that much more genie bra do you not have that on but i'm should be but i don't know if i don't think you have you don't have permissions to do it why can't mods do it for you i don't know man <laughs> big 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 oof <laughs> Uh, Mr. Abstractor, you still you still stream on occasion? I do not, other than with you. Other than with me, right on. Oh, crap, Abstractor's still here. <laughs> and uh, uh, Flav, tell him what you do. I make games. You make games. In Damn. Mm -mm. Why did that not go through? Aha! You don't get a link. What? 
Oh, you, you, uh, you I double. Uh, double <laughs> I did a double <laughs> C. I did a double uh, C. You can't see me. You can't double see me. <laughs> there we go. And then, uh, yeah, I stream a lot more now due to the COVID stuff because I got literally nothing else to do. The world is ending and we've got plenty of time. <laughs> my, my normal schedule is Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. I draw comic books. I do D&D character commissions. Um, I sometimes will play a game once in a blue moon. I don't. I'm not really a gamer. Uh, I think the last time I played, you'll, a, play, you'll play my game. Uh, when it comes out, yeah, we'll play. We'll play some Stream Warriors on here because that stream that's, adventures. Stream Adventures. I'm I'm renaming it Stream Adventures. Well, that's the first time hearing of it. <laughs> StreamWarriors.com is <laughs> <laughs> fair enough. it down boys fair, it down. fair enough all right uh but yeah i draw i draw comic books um and like i said uh, as you guys can see here uh this way where is it over here uh channel points you guys can mess with our stream so if you uh if you want to come lurk while i'm listening to music and drawing comic books during the week um feel free uh, we've got a, a Discord that uh, you can hang out in as well uh, to know when I'm going live so you can accrue those channel points to fuck with our game. <laughs> Easy that is. Uh, but that is it for us. Hang out after the credits here because we are going to find someone to raid. I hope everyone has a happy and healthy weekend. Thanks Bye, for guys. watching Thanks the stream. Bye, everybody.